I'm just going to mute us, guys, because they're going to start the stream in a sec. Yep. And welcome along to the nest. It's Magpie Park for another reserve grade clash. It is, of course, the Tamworth Magpies doing battle today with the Armadale Blues as the players run out onto the field. Good afternoon. I'm Scott McLaren. Whether or not you are, of course, at home or if you're at the ground, it's great to have your company once again. Joining us in commentary, we've got Glenn to, to my right. Hello, Glenn. How are we? Good afternoon, Scotty. Good to be along and back to the nest. And she's looking forward to a great game. It's an overcast day but it's and cold, but no wind, which is a blessing. No sun to kick into, too. So the ground's looking a picture, and uh, so are the boys. Here comes the Blues team. They're blue and yellow and white. Uh, a few mixtures there, a bit like licorice all sorts, but <laughs> they uh, should put up a pretty good show. The teams are very even as they come in. The... Tamworth Magpies have had two wins and three losses and one deferred. The uh, Blues have one win, one draw, uh, three losses and a deferred game. So not much between the two teams on the uh, table for this afternoon. So looks like the Blues are going to kick off. Yep. And uh, welcome along as well to Emma Bailey today. How are we? Good, thanks, Scotty. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. And it uh, looks like the toss has just been won. And it looks like, yep, we're going to be seeing the uh, Magpies running from left to right and uh, across your screen. And from right to left, of course, is the uh, Armadale Blues this afternoon, Glenn. Yes, and it uh, looks like the Maggies have won the toss and are going to kick off. So uh, I was a little ahead of the game there. Couple okay. of balls on the ground. <laughs> Pick one, boys. Okay. So, you want to run through the teams there, Scotty, for the Magpies? Yeah, mate, absolutely. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get into that in just a sec. We'll just uh, go through the sides in a moment and uh, we'll just get the timer underway so that we can get things well and truly underway here at Magpie Park. Bit overcast like it was last week for Ladies' Day, but we're good to go. Yes, and a good uh, high kick, but taken well by the Blues, but he's been collared uh, about uh, 24 metres out. Yeah, as they move their way forward, uh, trying to ruck it up the field at the moment, possession is key in the early parts of the game so that they get the feel of the ball. And uh, let's just have a quick look at the uh, way the sides line up this afternoon. Wearing the number one is Jason Burgess in and 26. Oh, good take off there. That's all right. In the, in, ruck. In the 26, Blake Hamilton. In uh, Wearing the number three, we've got a... Uh, Sam White, we've got uh, Jack Barker wearing the four. In the number five today, this afternoon, we've got Cameron Wilcox, Jacob Shaw in the six, Ryan Hanrahan's in the seven, Zach Johns is in the eight, Bailey Rock is wearing number nine. Wearing number ten today, we've got Benjamin Coombs, the captain, and uh, also Cameron Dagger in the 11. Uh, Blake Harton wearing 12. 13 is Michael Orcher. Tusi Missy promoted to the starting lineup today in the 25, and wearing the number 15 for the uh, Magpies this afternoon, we've got uh, uh, I believe it might be Jacob Shaw. So we'll uh, we'll check in with that a bit later on as the uh, app updates for us this afternoon. Glenn, over to you, mate. Maggie's uh, on the attack. Yes, and then the sun's uh, peeking through, but they're, they're doing well, holding position after about our fifth or sixth phase here. Uh, it was a, uh, Jack Barker was, uh, had a good steal of the ball, and it, but it looks like they might have lost it forward. But no, they're still, the ref's still letting it flow. The Maggie should have it still, but... And now he's called it back to that knock-on, yes. So it'll be shoot the Blues feed into the scrum, first scrum of the afternoon. This will be a good test to see uh, how the powerhouse goes in this early scrum. 
Yeah, and Jason Burgess, uh, when he was elevated to first grade last week after he injured his hand, he was uh, definitely very impressive in the scrum. From what I'm hearing, I'm hearing that he's actually going to be uh, even more impressive in the scrum here today in reserve grade. And uh, Jason, look, Emma, you know more about it than, than we do. Uh, tell us, how has Jason recovered from the, uh, from the hand injury he had last week? Well, it seems like he's got out there pretty strong today, and I feel like he's a man who just never gives up. Um, so it's good to see him back out there today. Uh, it looked like he'd been uh, trod on the hand last week and had a quite an indent in his hand, but it's uh, good to see him back out there getting in with the boys. Absolutely. Well, they're packing the scrum mound, Glenn. Yes, and the ref's giving him instructions, so about to be fed by the um, number nine, Ethan Monk, for the Blues. Good. Oh, it's come out quick, whether that's clean or not. They've got a clearing kick, but off the side of his boot doesn't gain a great deal of line, territory, so the Maggies are in a fairly good attacking position here if they can get their line out yeah. and going, which uh, this has been a problem right through the club, really, but we'll see. You're not wrong, Glenn, actually. Yeah, they have actually uh, had a b They've been struggling with the line outs uh, in the last few weeks, actually. But uh, from what I've been hearing, actually, the, uh, the coach, of course, for the Magpies, that's Damien Henry, he's been doing a lot of work with the Maggies uh, with the line out throughout the week. So let's see how things progress here. All right, well, they're walking in now. They've sorted out what they're going to do. Walk down there. It didn't look really straight, but uh, he's letting it go. No, he's caught it back. Not straight, yep. That's the trouble for those. Uh, Close in line out, so it's always the temptation is just to throw it to your man rather down rather than the middle. Yeah, uh, but it's a it's a good move if you can get it right. Yeah, agreed. And uh, yeah, you can tell that the Armadale Blues have certainly done a lot of work on their line outs and their scrums as well. I also hear as uh, you know that uh, you know with these boys from uh, Armadale, you know that with the work that they do on the scrums, it's uh it's quite backbreaking, really, isn't it, Glenn? Well, it was in my day, but <laughs> it's a long while since I've done it. Okay. Uh, Mr Monk to feed the scrum again. Will it come out too quick? They've got, oh, good shove by the Maggies. They've got the ascendancy and they've cleaned him up. But the, the Blues have got the ball. It's out there coming out their side. That was a good powerhouse push. Oh, run down the middle. Nearly got through. A good, good pass away. Oh, and good backing up by the Blues. They've been nailed on the 10-yard line. Good pass out the back oh, there. Oh, they've got the, the overlap here. Out. In goes through. That'll be good tackle. Brings him down uh, by Josh Steele. Magpies working it out now towards the sideline, which is going extremely well for them at the moment as they uh, work their way up the field, managing to get over Oop. the 50. And uh, he's been playing advantage, Ooh. of course, the referee this afternoon there. The high tackle. And uh, that wasn't it. Oh, dearie me. Um, it was over the shoulder. I didn't think it was that high, but if that's the one he's referring to by um, Josh Steele. So this puts the Blues on the attack in the uh, right on the 22 mark of the uh, Magpies red zone. Okay, so we've just been updated. Michael Orcher is playing in the number 12 this afternoon. 13. 13, sorry. All right, so it's the Blues on the attack, and he's called it back. Wasn't straight, the throw-in. Oh, that's a big blue for a penalty kick like that to... Not get it right. A big no. blue for the Blues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no wind to affect it. That's n normally your excuse. The wind blew it, but uh, here we got the, the Maggies to feed this uh, scrum right on the 22 Bailey Rock, the half, to feed it. And if you are, of course, watching at home this afternoon, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and be a part of all the Magpies action as they uh, get the gear up to uh, feed this scrum. Twenty-eight minutes to go. If you've just joined us, it's still nil all here at Magpie Park between the Magpies and the Blues. Welcome along to the Nest this afternoon. If you are, of course, uh, at home watching us, it's great to have you on board. Or if you are, of course, uh, watching it from your work, it'll be great to see you down here a bit later on. Good clean scrum win. Oh, that been round. Oh, good fall. 
recovery from the Magpies. Rather penalty. We're not sure what for. Anyway, Magpies down to clear it out from their 22. It looked like an offside call. Oh, he hasn't found touch. And, oh, juggles it. But, and the, Good run. Yes, but they should have been up there covering that kick. They've got Blues working it out to the 10 metre line. Bringing okay. it out here to the right. That does a step, and he does step well. But they've cleaned him up. Referee playing advantage. Trying to throw it out wide. They've got the overlap, but they've... Yeah. Stomping, getting involved in the, uh, in the ruck. A little bit too eager there for the Magpies this afternoon, but that's okay. They'll uh, come back, I'm sure. Okay, he's made this one go out. Made, so the Blues are on the attack here. Uh, about 18 metres out from the Magpies line with the throw in. Can they get it straight? Yes. Oh, you lost it, a little bloke. It was gun barrel straight, that. Yeah. Right, they swing it out to the left. Oh, good fullback coming through at a good angle, but he's been covered there. Good tackle, good low tackle. Oh. What a punch. Punch going. Oh, that's why the blue, so it's a... It's a penalty. This goes to the Magpies. So he's going the other side here, Glenn. It looks like he's going to try and find the sideline. No, I don't think side. he has, though. But he hasn't. Yes, oh, no, he, he has. has. Well done. Just. Yep. Coming right to you. So it'll be the Magpies with the line out. Around about uh, 55 metres out from the try line. What right. do they do here, Glenn? Oh, well, they'll just ruck it up the middle. Good, clean ball. Well, it got... Not straight again. No, oh, it's borderline that they got would have had the call there, so we can't complain. At least he's being consistent, which is oh, good. Yeah. It's all about consistency. And speaking yeah. of referees, you know, we wouldn't be anywhere without him. That's right. It's a thankless job. Well, that wasn't straight, but anyway. Oh, oh little touch there, but yeah. it's going to get called back. And that's Ryan Henrahan going no. in there for the ball. Play on. So the Magpies going forward. Oh, good, good pass off to to our old but he's lost the Tissy ball. Mitzi. Yeah, Tusi Missy. He's, he's he's lost the ball though, which is a shame. But oh, here we go, that's the a good kick. kick, and nobody home, of course. All right, Magpies trying to work it out. He goes for the clearing kick off the side of the boot. Manages yeah. around about well, ten meters, I'd say. And uh, Emma Bailey, of course, uh, just while we've got this pause in play for this afternoon, I, uh, I hear that there's some great merchandise available to become a part of the Magpies. Yes, you just uh, head over to the Magpies website, which you can just go on uh, online and type in the Tamworth Rugby Park and click the website, or tamworthrugby.com.au. And, of course, there's membership available through there, uh, and, of course, which is also another easy way to find the live stream of today's game as well. Okay, Glenn, here they go. The Blues yeah, working it up. They won that cleanly it's after a bit of a balk. But, um, oh, Burgess getting involved. Well, he's got it because he's, his counterpart mate is going, burrowing through. Uh, yes, yeah, just pick and driving. Gains about a metre of tackle. Tries again. There's no way. We've got a good tackle there by Mr White. Through the dummy, Sam trying to White. get through, yeah. Yeah. Oh, make the Magpies sure. rushing up on him. Yeah, better make sure you tackle, so. Great defence there. Beautiful defence. Fantastic by uh, Ryan Henrahan. Leading from the oh. front there, the captain, but unfortunately. Oh, he's gone for the tap. Quick tap. Offside, he knows that, so he's run straight at the offside players, but 
The Blues on the attack now, around about five metres out. Here they go, burrowing for the line. Just misses out. They've still got the ball, though. It's out. That's good. Forcing them back. Oh, here's a... The big fella tries yeah, to get good, through. Strong now they've gone out wide. Steps and goes yeah. over. That's a try yeah. to the Blues this first afternoon. First points. First points to the Blues. And the Nevilles, of course, mate. They're over there. They're ready to go. Have a listen to them. You know I don't spill when I'm that way. Good to have the Nevilles back playing here again after Ladies' Day last week. So as we have a look at the West Entertainment Group scoreboard at the moment, it is the Blues leading the Magpies 5-0 with 22 minutes to go this afternoon, Glenn. That's in the first half, yes. So we've got a fair bit to go in the game. And uh, he is very kickable. He's gone right to the uh, intersection of the 5-metre uh, and, and the 22-line. 20, so no breeze to speak of. Uh, he, Slightly my favour him. Well, there's a little breeze up here this afternoon, mm. though, isn't there, yeah. Glenn? You know, we're feeling a little wind, so... This on the left cheek. That's of the face. I wouldn't say it's uh, extremely blowy. So this is uh, Nick Bartlett lighting this kick up. Moves in. And he's... Oh, oh. hit the upright and falls short. So it remains 5-0 here at uh, Magpie Park this afternoon. And, uh, Emma, I know that, uh, you know, look, the old boys, you know, they, they're, they're, so, they're, they're the sort of people that uh, really have uh, laid the foundation for where the Magpies are in 2022. And we're going to be celebrating old boys in just a few weeks. That's right. The old boys weekend is coming up on Friday the 22nd, July, um, at night. And it will be here at the Nest. And then, of course, oh, the well Black and White Ball on the 23rd. So the Maggies have got the ball, but they've been uh, lost a bit of t turf there. We'll come back to you in a sec, Emma. There's the Magpies are on the attack. Bringing out here to the left. Cam oh, good ruck play. Beautiful ruck play, charging up the field. That was a great run there from uh, Jack Barker. Jack's had a fantastic uh, run so far, and he's had some incredible tackles up the back. Um, and, of course, being our captain, doing an amazing job. Oh, good kick ahead, but the vacant territory. Up the wingers. Oh, he's he's forced him into touch, so that should be a, a Maggie feed. About uh, 24 metres out from the Blues try line. So Emma, just while we get set for this uh, for this line out, actually, uh, so let's talk about the old boys. It's a it's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, it's always a huge weekend here at the Magpies, and of course, like I said before, the old boys is held on Friday the twenty second of July, and it's at night here at the Nest, um, and then the black and white ball on the twenty third at West, and of course, you can get those tickets via Magpies website, which we discussed just before. Excellent. All right, the Maggies are on the attack. They work it out wide here. Here oh, we we've go. We've got the overlap. Can you get it out? No. no. Hey, that's good. Good play from the Magpies, setting themselves up this afternoon to try and get points on the board. And it's a beautiful busting run there. Ryan Hanrahan, but they held him up with the ball. But even though they, Can he get to the ground? Yes, he has. The ref's are good. Oh, no, he's... Oh! It was rucking at the ball uh, as he was going Offside down. Offside again, so... Yep. The Magpies have got a chance to uh, can put a... Some points out. They're going for the scrum, so they're not content with uh, the three points. They want to get some more on the board, and not a bad attacking position here, right on the 22 and, and uh, 10 meter, 15 meters in. Glenn, would you have gone for the three to get on the score? I, I would have myself, being being an old kicker, but and hogging the ball, so <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone for it. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see if it pays off. Yes, if we can get the seven rather than the three. Of course, in my day, tries were only worth three points. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it was just as good to go for a kick. All right, so they're setting themselves now. Magpies with the big push. Okay. Feed. Oh, good push. It is a good push too. Holding the ball in, walking it forward. Now, can they get the back line moving? Good run. Yep. 
Beautiful run. All right, so the back line now needs to come into play, but they'll probably just work it forward like they just did there through one of their big fellas as they work it out wide here. He's got the overlap if he can find him. No, he can't. He can't find the man on the outside, but that's okay. They're working it out over the uh, long side of the ground. So they'll try and work it back here to the left, I'd say, uh, Glenn. Yes, that's the open side, So, but they're a bit bunched into another whistle blowing. Coming over the top, so Maggie free kick. What will I do this time? He's... Calling for a scrum once again. Well, that's a good call because they, they could almost push this one over from here with the way on, going on the last results. But um, it was 15. We, do, we don't uh, have a number, a name for 15. No, we don't. Not as yet. Looks like one of the Connors, but uh, I'm not sure. Playing fullback. So it's still 5-0 here at uh, Magpie Park at to the Armadale Blues. If you've just tuned in, welcome along to Magpie Park this afternoon. OK, the ball's fed in. Well, it's bounced out. So he's gone to the blind. Can he? Yes, he's got the pass, but they've covered him up. Will they put him into touch? No. The forwards are rumbling it forward. Must be about five metres out now. They're sp spreading it wide. Oh, beautiful step right there. Yeah, but there. nobody's with him. They've, they've isolated him. Well, the clean outs come, so they've still got possession. Here's Captain Barker. Great run. Here we go. The Magpies over? are over. And yes, that's so right. Beauty. Uh, Zach Johns. Zach Johns, eight. was it? Num yep. Zach Johns gets over for the Magpies. Team Callum Davis. They haven't got, they haven't got. Okay. And that equalises the score for this afternoon. It's currently 5 all. Here at the Nest. With the kick to come, so... Uh, so a great uh, try there. The Neville's getting a bit warmed up. Joe Burgess uh, out there actually just uh, just getting a bit of clarity from the referee, which is always good. Yeah. So we haven't got a kicker. Oh, here he comes. Uh, Blake Harton's coming to take the kick. He's the one who did that sidestep, who got very close to the line. A nuggety little uh, inside centre. We'll see what his kicking abilities are like. Good thing the ref's not timing it. But as he lines up the kick, thanks to Matt Salter Constructions. It's away. And yeah. he's missed. He's so missed. it remains five all here at the nest on this uh, overcast and cool Saturday afternoon in Tamworth. But it's fine, so we're uh, very thankful for that. Yeah, and the crowd's starting to build here this afternoon as well as the Blues kick off. And it should be out there. Yeah, it was definitely out. Was it on the full, though, or did it come off their play? Where's the linesman? He's uh, sauntering along a bit slow. And there he is. He's given the throw into the Magpies. Yeah, it did uh, come off a Blues player as it went out yes, there. Yes, yeah. So Sam White to, uh, fee to uh, throw in, and the Magpies are walking up now with their tactics. I've oh, gone to the front again, but it's been foiled, been knocked back by the Blues, and they've now got position. So it's the Blues on the attack. Working their oh, way up the ooh. field. Oh, a shocking pass, but yeah, good pickup. Well handled. <laughs> Blues go going back over the, the short. Blind. Great no, hit. got him down too very well. They got him there that they're feeding it now. Oh, he dropped it on. Yes, the ref's onto it. <laughs> I 
And Ray McCoy has, of course, joined us this afternoon already. He's getting things ready to go. He'll be calling the first grade clash for you this afternoon. It's great to have Ray along. The Sylphie King. <laughs> the Silver Fox, as he calls himself. <laughs> I thought he was the real McCoy. Well, there's a little bit of uh, real McCoy about him. He does like to sing another night. <laughs> Okay, the scrum's backing down, uh, and again. 13 minutes to go in this first half. It's 5-all here at uh, the Nest on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard. Bailey Rock fe feeds the scrum. Hold steady. Good, good clean. Ooh, we might have knocked that on, but anyway. Throws the dummy, yeah. takes the tackle, though. Now move it. Oh, it's oh, gone for. He's gone looking forward. at the He's ball and not the... Blues on the attack again. Yeah, a bad mistake there. Oh, good Great tackle. tackle. Brings down our old mate Andrew Chalker. Good switch play. Oh, yeah, tries a little chip ahead but finds touch. Uh, his winger was nowhere near it, though. That would be a Maggie throw in. And we got down to 12 minutes in the first half remaining. And the play's just down about the 23 metres out from the Magpies line. But it's their throw in. It should have a clearing kick. So, Glenn, it's uh, it's pretty important to communicate with your wingers as well. The hand signals always come in the play, especially when you're looking for that sort of a play. That's right. He, he should have forewarned the winger. Oh, we've lost that line out again. Just Lost it forward, so it's the Blues on the attack in a good position. Damien Henry will not be happy about that, the Magpies coach. He's put a lot of work in on the line-outs throughout the week. As the Blues come into the attack now, they work it out wide. With Another a little, little kick, kick, kick oh, up. Good to, pick up. to Connor. Great pick-up. Gets it back, forcing it forward now. Here come the Magpies. Trying the blind side again. Get him down. Good push from the Blues. His knees are on the ground, so that should be enough. Yep. Got the ball back. Little, Little chip, chip kick. over. Oh, here and we go. A, that's good. Great I've claimed him. Yes. And he's over the ball. Can he? Not supporting his weight, but the wrestle's gone. Yes. Well done. Couldn't get the ball out. Yep. But well, he might have an injured player here at the moment. The number nine, he's he's a little bit dusty. No, he's going to take his place back in the line. He'll be okay. Just a little burner there on the uh, on the ankle. Is that Ben Coombs who got over that uh, to lock up the ball? It was. That's good old Betty. So the Magpies looking for a scrum right now. Okay, beautiful. Okay. And as they feed the scrum, it's a very good afternoon to Lions, Barnett and Kennedy solicitors. Some people that uh, I might need to call on Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Your one telephone call. That's a <laughs> okay, Bailey Rock to feed just into Blues territory. Another good solid held scrum by the Bagpies, rolling it forward a little bit. Out it comes. They work it out wide here. Cut out pass to... A oh, good run. Yeah. Solid run. That's so here come the Magpies on the attack again. Going through the shoulders there. Beautiful play. That's what you want to do. Captain Barker does for a bit of a rumble. Slow motion. They're gaining a bit of territory here, yeah, the Magpies. They're rolling forward. Oh, they great pass. Out to the winger who finds him. And he offloads. No, he's lost it. Oh, he hasn't, has he? Yep, the Blues <laughs> have got the ball. <laughs> and they're doing the box kick from the corner, but no finds vacant territory. But they haven't followed through. Uh, good work there. Fraser Thomas, was that? No, that's the Armadale Blue side. We're looking at the wrong one. 
Yeah. Okay, so the blues. Blake Hart. Right? Blake Hart and okay, good. Blake Hart and did that one, so. All right, so the blues with the throw in. That's a long throw. That's oh, a good that's take, a too, off the top. Throw. And a great take, yeah, you're right. Oh, this the pass is slow. Ooh. That was forward, but we'll let that go. Now, he's a big chap. And they're over him, too. Have like, you know, haven't locked it up. Steps and steps well. Beautiful step. they brought him down from behind. That was almost uh, David Campisi-ish, that step. Well, it wouldn't go that far, Scotty. <laughs> Almost. It's waiting for the goose step. Oh, oh there was great a run. Gap, gap down the middle, and he's got support. Doesn't but he doesn't him. give it. Oh, dearie me. And locked up. That's our – must be a penalty. Yes. Got the ball. He's playing it. Well, a good bit of rugby there, but uh, killed the try. He should have passed, but he didn't. And then the Magpies were able to uh, close it up in the ruck and uh, gain the penalties. For not releasing. Well, if it was David Campisi, mate, he'd be seething right now. <laughs> okay, Ben Coombs to uh, take the clearing penalty, a relieving penalty, and he hasn't found touch again, but it's found height. But a good uh, run there from Tusi Missy coming yeah. straight down the field there to put some pressure on, but unfortunately couldn't make the tackle. Here come the Blues. They've, they've got, got the, the overlap. overlap by Miles, and they've lost it. Lost it back, probably. The wingers. He's making a good run. He's yeah. powering forward. The Blues over the other side of the field. But the Magpies are re regrouped and... Oh, we're going to get to... To Andrew Chalker. He's hit the chalk. <laughs> sure has. Okay, so here come the Blues, working just, it forward now. And they've got the, they've got the advantage here. Yeah, but they've got the overlap, but they're passing slow motion. Oh, he nearly had him. That's good. Good defence. Ethan Monk has to get some of those passes up. That's better from him. But, uh, yeah, oh, as soon well, as I said that. Had the overlap, but we've closed it down. But now they'll come this way to the, to the right. Oh, oh, good run. Excellent run. But he's lost the ball. He's been stripped off him. Nice and fairly. That's Blake Blazier playing for the Armadale Blues this afternoon. He's a tall bloke, isn't he? He is very tall. Yep. Called back. So though. He's locked, very it, locked up in this in the ruck again. Blake Blazier. He's a he's a tall bloke. He's a big fella. He's wearing the number 18 this afternoon, very much in the same mould as what you'd say Paul Sirinan was from back in the day. <laughs> He's almost in the right colours too. He, he is. He is. <laughs> Looks okay. like Denny, and he's even got the old headband on. <laughs> Mate, I tell you what, it's zero. Blake Harton gets this one into touch. Uh, safety with just five minutes to go in this first half. A uh, very entertaining half for the second grade game here at the, the Nest. And the sun's out, so weak as it is, but... Yeah, it's still five all here at the Nest this afternoon with the line out, the Magpies. Can they win one cleanly? Oh, beautifully right. done. Off the top there uh, with fin Finlay Lampeth. As they work it out wide, they've, oh, they've got, got the overlap. overlap. Can they keep it moving? Yes, they yes, do. They can. Oh, Tusi can Missy. Missy. Here he oh, comes. Oh, good snap. That's a Campisi. <laughs> oh, he's not <laughs> As I said, very entertaining. <laughs> Campisi. Campisi out on the wing. Look out. Mate, that, that, that actually reminded me a lot of uh, the, when uh, Israel Folau used to play for the uh, for the Wallabies, actually. That was fantastic from yeah. Tusi Missy. Yeah. <laughs> Using his, his AFL skills and everything. Kick when there's a bit astray. <laughs> okay, the Blues are throwing this line out. They're all set. Here they go. They go long. Yeah, oh, yes, and they got it clean lead off the top. Oh, he's cut out cut pass. Out. Yeah, beautiful pass. But he stepped it. Cleaned him up. Right on halfway. The Blues go to the left. And it's gone backwards, Down. but the baggies are in position. Good uh, swooping on it there by the magpie. to get the ball, and now a little rumble up the sideline going down the blind. And again, the forwards doing their work. 
Now it comes out. Oh, who went back that? Oh, the oh, good They've work. lost possession. Yeah, the Blues are onto it like a handover. Onto it like a fight. hawk, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah, we, we can't call them a magpie, but. No. And they've done the kick, but. Uh, Doesn't find the, the sideline. Beautiful, line. beautiful now, take better from kick, Tusi, Missy. Better kick. Oh, oh yes, he beats his man. Missy. Missy's Missy's goose step again. Oh, a high tackle, but. Beautiful run from Missy, working his way down the sideline. Yes, right the there. ref's seen it too. Our advantage to the Magpies. And not releasing in the tackle. I thought it would, could have been a high tackle there myself, but. Tell you what, Tusi Missy, very much uh, looking like the Israel Falau that I called him earlier. He's a bit smaller than Israel, but. He is. <laughs> Stay off Twitter, Tusi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bailey Rock to uh, feed the scrum. Just on the uh, five metre line in. And they're set. Here they yeah. go. Oh, well, ref's not happy. Yeah, there was a bit of a fall at the back there of the blue scrum. <laughs> so they'll have to reset themselves here. But just while we have this break in play, there's a minute and a half to go in this half. And it's still 5-all. Magpies on the attack on the West's uh, Entertainment Group scoreboard this afternoon. Here they go. They get ready. They're set. Okay. Good. Good. Good scrummaging play here from yes, the Magpies. Yes, a penalty, a penalty advantage to the Magpies. That halfback's offside. Uh, they're waiting for him. <laughs> Harton. Yep, come back to the penalty. It was very pretty to watch, though. Mm. Bit predictable. Blake Harton coming, coming straight in. Oh, they messed up the turf a bit there. Groundsman won't be happy. Uh, scrumming in, that's good. Brings in those uh, forwards, gets them out of the game. Glenn, with 40 seconds to go, maybe the penalty shot might have been the way to go to take the lead going in the half time. Well, it, it, he didn't get the last one, which would have been an easier kick than than, than that one. Yeah, than this one here. So it's. Uh, it's not over till the, the, till the break in play. So they, if they can keep possession and, and keep their faces going, they'll uh, they could well an easy score. Well, they've definitely got set up for the overlap out wide here. Right. Referee not happy. Oh, he's on the ground. The blondie hooker for the loose and the front row is is down. Okay, Looks yeah. like uh, uh, Jason's giving him a hard time there. He's, he's come shaking his head. Well <laughs> 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 fed in. Work it out wide, the Magpies. No, no he decides to dummy and oh, run. Bit of a bustling run and made good ground because his backs weren't with him. That's the trouble. Now they go through the forwards. It's um, Zach Johns, good run. Great run. Ba Captain Barker rumbles forward, slow motion. Okay, they're almost uh, offside, but... Magpie's still in control. They are. Oh, we've got the... Now, this could be a kick. We've got the penalty advantage. And we do have a Blues player down here in back play. We'll get to that in a moment. As the Magpies remain on the attack. Okay. They do have the overlap if they work well, it out. Don't bring it out here, though. Yep. No. Coming over the top. So, a very kickable kick going in the half time. Are they going to take it, or are they going to... Take the scrum. Yes, they're going to go for the kick. 
consensus. They've asked every player on the field. No, he's going for the line now. <laughs> Overruled. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't like the, the uh, majority rule. rule. He's, now, they, yes, they really should hold it up. We do have a Blues player down here in backfield, which could oh, be... Oh, we won the run out too. Can out. they run it? Rumble it or they won't go for the... For the mall, they, they are mauling yeah. it forward. Yeah, but they can't. Yeah, but they had no opposition. Good sportsmanship down here, though, too, which is fantastic yeah. to see. The Magpies players very concerned about this Armadale Blues player, which is laying on the ground at the moment. Looks like he might have a leg injury. Oh, fantastic sportsmanship. For those of you that are uh, watching this at home, you can see it there on your screen, getting carted off from the Magpies. Well done. So. Tusi Missy in there. He's been the player to watch this afternoon, yeah. hasn't he? I don't know quite bewildered what's happened here. If they're coming off or... Um, no, it's a penalty. We've got the... Uh, oh, I see. It's a, he must have got the try because they're all behind the thing. So it was a, was a maul that they allowed. It was a bit... And... Missed it. Missed it. Okay, so they will... That should put us up to uh, 10 to 5 in favour of the Magpies. Yep, at half time yep. on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard, it's 10 5 here at the Nest. Alrighty, and it's uh, welcome back to the nest for this afternoon. And uh, it's Scotty McLaren and uh, also Glenn and Emma Bailey with us today. And Emma, what did you think of that first half? Oh, look, it was uh, pretty quick, really. There was a lot going on, uh, that, which is good to see. There's no pausing. They're just playing smart, playing quick and getting it out as much as they can. Um, the scrums are really, really strong, yet really quick, and they're clearing that really well and pushing it as forward as they can. So it's been a really great game so far um, and can't wait to see what the second half brings. Absolutely. Glenn, how do you see it from your eyes, mate? Uh, probably through ind indication of the scores at uh, 10 to 5 in favour of the Magpies. But, uh, yeah, it's been, been good, uh, clean rugby. So everybody's happy. It sure has been, and I've got to say, though, that uh, still, like, you know, if you were to have a look at a negative from the Magpies, the, the line-outs are certainly some uh, somewhere that they need to do a little bit more work on. Wouldn't you agree, Glenn? For sure, but the, they did win the last couple, so things are looking up. But, uh, yes, with the loser winning their ball very cleanly, um, and we need to be doing the same. And I, I think, too, you know, like, I know he's got a uh, injured hand at the moment, actually, but he is my favourite player out there for the Magpies. That is, of course, Burgess. He's giving himself a little bit of a rub down at the moment. Looking sensational out there this afternoon. <laughs> well, you can go and do it for him if Mate, you Mate, like. I'd love to. Give me the opportunity. I'm a big fan of him. He's, a, he's, a, he's an absolute legend, Burgess. Yeah, well, as long as he can uh, keep play the whole game through, it's... Uh it generally just comes off for a rest a few times, but we'll, we'll see how he goes today. For a big fella, mate, he's just played the full 35 right there, and he's yep. uh, going extremely well. His opposite number is a similar build, and I'd say that uh, Jason's got the, the measure of him. Absolutely. And uh, we just need to see a little bit more from Burgess this afternoon. Hopefully he gets a little bit more ball and uh, we'll see a little bit more. But uh, speaking of balls, well, I'll tell you what, the old boys ball is coming up once again, Emma. Yeah, sure is. So the old boys weekend is a huge uh, day for the Magpies and that's coming up Friday, the 22nd of July. It's at night time at, uh, at the Nest right here. Um, and the black and white ball is on the 23rd at West. So you can head over to their website uh, for any details, your bookings and tickets, uh, which you can look up Tenworth Rugby Park. That'll take 
take you to their website or tenworthrugby.com.au. And if you want more information as well, their Facebook page, Tenworth Rugby Union Sporting Club. It's uh, always full of entertaining stuff on there and activities and events that are coming up. So make sure you like and subscribe to those. And, of course, uh, to Ustream, which is helping us today. Absolutely. Yeah, Ustream and... Stream uh, you, sorry. My stream bad. Stream you. And uh, I can tell you as well that uh, while you're on that website, uh, you can get some great uh, the Magpies merchandise as well, which is uh, absolutely sensational. I was looking... I was actually casting my eye the other day, Glenn, uh, on that website. I was having a look at a beautiful Magpies jacket, and uh, I see that you've got your Magpies hat there as well, which is good to go off the website. And I've got a beanie and a polo shirt. All sorts of stuff there you can get. Oh. <laughs> just don't buy a shirt, Scotty. You can't run on the field, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'll just run on the field to give Burgess a bit of a rub down, I'll tell you that. But uh, on that note, I've got to say a big g'day and a big uh, good afternoon to, of course, Davidson Brothers Electrical. They look after solar pumps and motors, but they don't only do that. They uh, also, if you didn't know this, they also fix hot water system. Uh, they do some plumbing for you too. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, I didn't they, know that. They do. Emma, last week was Ladies' Day, and there was a fabulous Check. result of raising at what four and a half thousand, or eight and a half thousand, eight and a half thousand. Yeah, yeah. Was, one two. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, um, yeah, over eight thousand dollars, and uh, an incredible weekend. Um, and congratulations to Claire Salter who put that together. Um, and it was definitely a dance party after the auction. That was for sure. It was a fantastic, fantastic afternoon and day. Well, we, we wondered where, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but there, there we go. Uh, we wondered where uh, Ray McCoy got to last week, and uh, that's because he had his dancing shoes on last week. <laughs> we were wondering where he went. Well, things are about to get underway again here this afternoon. It's the Magpies leading 10-5 on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard. The Blues to kick off in the second half, Glenn. Yep, and uh, not much in it, so 10-5, so anybody's game at this, this stage... And the Blues are, here we go. Puts up a good high kick. Oh, well taken by Sam White. Magpies getting set. Good, good run, run, Jimmy Bracken. Here he is. Here's my boy Burgess. He's had a rub down. He's out there. That's going out the back. It's a nice kick into the open field. Will the fullback get it? A lovely bounce, but it oh, beat him. Oh, yes. Great kick. Put him out. No, he's kicked it. Straight into the bread basket of the Magpies fullback. Here we go. Magpies with another clearing kick. Straight down the field. Will it find the grass? Yeah. No, it's straight into the hands. Another clearing kick for the Blues. Looking for the sideline here. Will he find it? Found he it. does. Yes, he does. Well, that's a bit generous, my boy. Going up to there, that's, a, that's <laughs> square to where it went out, but they'll need every metre they can bleach. All right. So I, I saw that the, the uh, coach, of course, Mr Henry, was out there at uh, half-time actually having a chat to the Magpies players. They did get a good uh, run on there before, as you mentioned, oh, yeah. with the line-outs, and here they go. They've got another one. Working it out wide. Magpies on the attack. So 21's a new re replacement, is it? Uh, Aaron Humphrey, hum Humbert, is that correct? Yep. Magpies, 20, scrummaging it. 23's a new too, that's Charlie Kennedy. He's on the ground, that's good. Running the blocker play. Oh, oh good, quick beautiful pass. pass. He's got the overlap. If he used his man, he had him out there. Uh, well, it's worth a try, but I think they've locked it up. Stolen the ball. Yes, they have. Turnover. Magpie. Oh, Blues with the run straight down the field. Oh, just Great got tackle, him. though. And a good pass up. They've got the overlap there on the outside, right. and they give it to the winger. He's away. The Blues down the sideline. Will and he, he get gets there? It. He does. Yes, well try. Good try. Yep. Equalising the scores here this afternoon at the Nest. It's 10 all on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard. A great try there for the Armadale Blues. Set up by uh, Liam Woods, I think it was, the second row, who made the initial burst. And uh, but just, just brought down by Aaron Humbert. But he got, managed to pass off the ground to his support play, and then that went on. 
to the winger, as you said, uh, Scotty, and into the corner he went. So all equal at the moment. So soon after half time. Yeah, kick to come, of course, but he's wide out there on the sideline and uh, there's just a small little breeze up high for yeah, this afternoon. We've got no flags to uh, go by, but the trees are hardly moving. Oh, the old finger in the mouth and uh, <laughs> checking which way it's gone. It's certainly working. Don't even need to do the finger in the mouth today. It's absolutely freezing. But anyway... Here we go. The Blues looking to kick. Trying to get a gauge on the number on the back there, but we'll get that. He's about 22 metres out right on the sideline. As he swings, steps back, takes the kick. No, too no, short. Too short. Scores remain level. It's 10 all this afternoon. And uh, Glenn, I've got to say, that was a great try from the Blues, a great set play, and uh, they certainly caught the Magpies off guard down there on the right. That's right. We went through the middle and uh, caught them napping. But we can't uh, buy a goal at this stage. Enjoy the rugby. Enjoy the Thank you. Okay, so it's the Magpies to kick off again. Straight to the big man. Is it going to go out? Is it? It does. Yeah, rolls out. So, finds touch. Great kickoff. Beautiful kickoff. Scoreboard's a bit behind at the moment. We need to uh, uh, get that rectified. There's okay. nothing in it this afternoon between these two teams, is there? No, well, that's what we said. They come in pretty even uh, with wins and that. A good throw off, taken off the top. Through the, oh, that's right. Oh, we're forcing him back. Good, good defence. Oh. What for? It said offside. It's got him offside. So, relieving penalty. Now for the Blues, right in their 22 or thereabouts. Yep. Fine touch. Uh, about eight metres into the Maggie's uh, side of halfway. 29 yeah. minutes to go. In this first half. A second. We're in the second A second, half. sorry. A second half. My mistake. Oh. oh. Lucky yeah. for the Blues there. Lucky. But they run it up. Hit it up. Beautiful hit up there. Calling their players up. Getting the big boy to run forward. But. His legs are taken out. Oh, what? Offside again. They've got, got the, the overlap. overlap. Yeah. They they go down the sideline again, but he can't find his man. On, he does yes, he find does. his man he got just. It, he got it away. Beautiful offload there from the Armadale Blues. Here come the Blues on the attack. Moving on. Overhead Basketball pass. pass yeah. Loops it over the top, but he's tackled by the Magpies. Magpies set their defense once again. Here come the Blues. What will they do? They work. Oh, oh he's lost it. Will he come right back to that penalty? Yes, he yes, will. Yes, he does. No. Playing. No, he's going to. Was he playing advantage there for a while? Or? Well, he should have. He, he said they were offside way back, and but his, the scrums go down with the Maggies to, to feed it. Scores are all locked up here. The Blues boy thinks he's got the feed, but uh, he's going to be sadly dis mistaken. Okay, so new boy 23 is uh, Charlie Kennedy, the new halfback. Replacing Bailey Rock. So what would you do here? Would you run it up or would you go for the clearing kick? Glenn? Uh, well, I think they should run it. Well, I've certainly got the overlap here on the... Uh, well, of course, I've set way back the, the yeah. bruise. No, they're going to go kick. And good kick too, finds touch. Around about 30 metres out, it'll be the Blues with the uh, line out at the moment. And Emma, how are you seeing it this afternoon? Oh, look, like I said to you before, it's a it's a strong game. Uh, very, very quick, which is always good to see. And they're, they're playing it smart, they're going in hard, and they're getting, you know, the ball's moving quite quickly out there. So that's always a positive to see. We've just got to be a bit 
That bit stronger than Magpies. Work it out. Here he is. Have bit. they got over him? I think they should be up to... Have they got the ball? I think we have. The Magpies got the ball. Yeah. But the penalty's gone the other way. Handling on the ground. Takes the quick tap. Yeah. Here come the Blues on the attack. Magpies doing everything they can to stop them this afternoon. Here come the Blues. He's lost, he's lost possession, behind. but it's gone behind you, as no, you say. He's, he's knocked it on. Good defence there from the Blues. It was a, uh, I, I guess you could say it was a, it was, it was an off. It was trying to get the offload away. He was trying to get his uh, man set up th right through the middle there, but unfortunately, the uh, the pass just went astray. Yeah, well, he made that break earlier on in the previous try, and uh, I think he was trying again, same move, but uh, hanging on too long. It was a great play. Okay. It's a Charlie Kennedy again to feed this one. Wearing the headgear in number 23. There's a fair bit of headgear out there this afternoon, isn't there, Glenn? Good, good clean win. Oh, oh, wild pass. Oh, well picked Great up. Pick up. Here come the Magpies on the attack now. What will they do here? They choose to run it. There's big gaps all over the field there, but uh, yeah, he goes Zach, straight. Zach John's going down the middle. Oh, good. Captain Barker makes a rumbling run again. They're with him this time, feeding the ball back. Yes, he is Captain Jack, as you just heard in the background, Captain Jack. Oh, watch oh, your passes. Okay, here we go. The Magpies on the Come attack. Mr. Hart Harton. Is it Michael Orcher, that one? That's Michael Orcher That's there. That's Michael Orcher. Well, number 13, good. Yes. Not releasing. So if you've just joined us, it's currently 10 all. It's the Magpies taking on the Armadale Blues on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard this afternoon as the Magpies look to find the line and a beautiful clearing kick. That's probably their best kick this afternoon for finding the line. Yeah, the good territory gain there. Sam White to uh, throw this line out in. Our man Jason up there first. Oh, knocked back, but good. Great clearing. Moving. Great clearing passing. Here we go. He's got the overlap on the outside if he chose to use it, but he didn't. He uh, ran the ball. It was a nice little runaround play as the Magpies work their way forward right now. Oh. A lot of people calling for offside from the crowd, but uh, the referee allows it to continue. Here come the Magpies. Oh, here comes Captain, Captain Jack. Jack. Magpies running hard with good, through their good. leg speed. Beautiful. Feed off there to uh, Samuel Dixon. They work it out to the right here by the looks of it. No, Captain Jack going to take a settling run. And he rumbles quite a uh, few metres there. Very good. Give it to Burgess. He's ready. Burgess is ready. Give it to the big man. No, he passes past him. Oh, great palm. Here we go. The Magpies yeah, are yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> ben Coombs there gets over the vice captain to uh, put the Maggies in the lead. By 15 points to 10 with the kick. Now, this one is kickable. so uh, Could be the first one we'll see today, Glenn. It could be. First time the linesmen have got to put their flags up. But we better not join them at this stage. No. We need all the points. And uh, as we uh, get ready, of course, uh, in this game, uh, of course, as we get ready for the conversion in the back play, uh, you'll be able to see uh, on the screen uh, when we pan back uh, to the uh, conversion. There we go. That's a lovely shot. You can see in the back play, the women are, of course, warming up there, Emma, this afternoon. They're getting ready to uh, take the field in around about 22 minutes' time. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. The girls have been playing quite strong this year, and it's uh, good to see a lot of new players coming in, and old players, of course. Um, but, yeah, their warm-up's looking pretty pretty nice, so it'll be great to see them on the field. And Michael yeah. Orchard puts it. the points on, so... 
It goes to 17 points to 10. Maggie's so, fiver. That's the first conversion that we've seen this afternoon. Yeah. With 22 minutes to go in the second half. It's the Magpies, 17. Armadale Blues, 10. And the scoreboard's caught up, so that's good. Sun poking through again. Oh, good. Well taken by Samuel Dixon. Move it out, move it out, that's it. Oh, he's intercepted. And... Now we've still got the, the ball by the looks of things. There's a Blues player down again. So the Magpies remain on the attack. Yep, the ref's seen the injury and it's getting too close to him too. Oh, that's a, that's a nasty injury as well. Blood bit rushing bit from the nose. Claret from the nose there. That'll that's have to go get scanned, I reckon. That's the hooker. Come off the field, my lad. Don't sit on the playing area. Now they've got the replacement on there. Number 20 is going on. Yeah, hopefully he'll be uh, he'll be feeling all right. They'll patch him up, give him some of that magic cream that you never had back in the day. Jeff. Oh, we had water. We had magic water. Magic water. Did marvels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Magpies got the feed there with this uh, breaking play, um, and Charlie Kennedy to feed the scrum. And this scrum, of course, with thanks to our sponsors, CH Boutique Hotel. Good clean heel. Zach, Zach Johns gets it away. Pass is nice. Great pass. And, and again, keep it going, keep it going. No. They... Magpies remain on the attack as the sun starts to beam across Magpie Park this afternoon. Captain Jack... Uh, Moving it out, good pass. Oh, good inside run. Great inside run. Oh, beautiful oh, run. Oh, oh, a bit high, but oh, he's over the top. Great pick, run. Pick and, Charging pick and, straight through. Pick and drive down the guts. Jimmy Bracken. Do they look for their big men? No, they work it out to the right. Get with him, get with him. They've got the overlap to the right if they choose to use it. They used Burgess. Go, Burgess. <laughs> Burgess with a big run. No, he's not related, Ray, but he's my favourite player out there, champion. Oh, he oh, just made captain The Jack. captain scores in the right position. <laughs> you beauty. And uh, as they say in a movie, actually, Jeff, you know, the, you'll rue the day that you almost caught Captain Jack. 22-10 <laughs> on the West Entertainment Group scoreboard with 18 to go. And the Magpies have the lead. And they're breathing in the, the big ones to get their breath back. But they've done well to get down there with some solid play and to uh, use that line wisely. Yeah, it was, a, it was a clever play from the Magpies, throwing Burgess up there straight through the middle of them. Yeah. That, that attracted around about four or five defenders on the big man. And then they worked it out to the right and found the captain, Captain Jack, yeah. over on the uh, sideline there as he gets ready to convert right now. But uh, Emma Bailey, we're getting ever closer to the action, of course, in the women's game. And uh, how's, how, how are they looking out there this oh, afternoon? Oh, want to get there. 
No. No, it hits, hit the, the, post, hits the post. Well, the yeah. girls are just uh, warming up at the moment and they always look quite strong. They've had a, you know, a mix of wins and losses this season, but they are playing a really good game. Uh, and, of course, some heaps of new upcomers, um, people who have never played before, and, of course, all the, all the regulars there as well. So it's going to be a great game to watch. Um, always... <coughs> Sorry. It's all always, right. a bit of, um, always a bit of a fun game oh, La- not, last not week. Go to the ten. Ten. It does. Just on the bounce. Sorry about that, Emma. We'll come You're back right. to you. As you just heard there over the big speaker, as we call it the God speaker, actually. Uh, Glenn? 22-10 to the Magpies. 16 to go in the match. With that 12-point lead. You'd think that You'd think that they'll need probably one more try, the Magpies, to try and ice this game. Here here comes Burgess, a big run. They go down like 10 pins. That's why I love him, Glenn. Yeah, but have they won the ball? They They have. But the Maggies need to be careful here with the... Here's Michael Orcher again, straightening up the attack. Still brought down on the 22. Big fan of the big men, mate, that play this game. That's why I love it. Oh, nice little chip ahead, but there was no one following, no one chasing. And your man, that they brought him down. He's attracting the defenders, actually, the big man for the uh, the Blues this afternoon. Oh, Ooh, that was a close pass, but yeah. very, 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 very well cleaned up from the Magpies. Here come the Blues on the attack. Another injured again, player another injury. down. We've got two of them, actually, by the looks of it. No, just the one. That's what happens when they uh, yeah, try. Yeah, we've seen it, yep. I guess you could say that's what happens when they uh, try and take down Burgess, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they all end up on the ground. Do it at your peril. <laughs> Do it at your peril. It's Burgess. Our man, Burgess. He is our man, isn't he? He's, an, he's a beautiful specimen, I've got to say. He's a specimen of a man. David Attenborough would love him. <laughs> so, uh, Emma, we'll just get back while there's a break in play. Uh, of Sorry, just the- before we talk about the ladies, I know that's where you're going to head. But this is just incredible, um, you know, teams coming together. You know, it's really nice when you see uh, one team coming up to another team and helping them out yeah. through an injury. Yep. Um, it's great sportsmanship and the Magpies – show that every single week um, and Missy's been out there for every injury and helping them out so it's great mm. to see him doing that carrying yep. them off the field and, and that's what we like to see in sport. Absolutely mm. I couldn't agree more but look as we do take this break in play Emma I do want to throw this over to you because the last time the Blues and the Magpies played against each other in the women's game the Blues managed to get up 42-12 to 12. they'll be looking for a bit of redemption this afternoon you'd think Emma? Yeah absolutely and like I said to you before they have been playing some strong games they've had a couple of wins, a couple of losses last week was a bit of a hit, 67-0 loss against uh, Albies here on Ladies Day but watching them warm up now they're always in strong form um, they've formed a great team, getting to know one another after a lot of them are brand new, this is their first time so it's phenomenal to just see them out there. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. As we uh, pause for a moment to uh, say a big g'day to uh, GRO Events Group, who, of course, are big sponsors of the uh, Magpies, and without them, uh, we wouldn't have a great club like we do today. So, GRO Events Group, we thank you for your patronage and being a part of the Magpies. And look, while we've also got this uh, pause in play, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, of course, uh, to be a part of the Magpies family. And you can keep up to date every time we live stream, Jeff. Jeff who? Jeff who, yeah. Saying g'day to Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're well. We... G'day to Ben Ryan too. <laughs> While we're at it. It looks like a serious injury out there. He, he's still on his back. Well, the Magpies have made a couple of uh, replacements. So Jimmy Bracken's come off and... Uh, uh, Jacob Shaw's gone back on. So just a couple of fankers swapping Aussies. So there's no injury time in the second grade game, so the clock's still running down. So we're down to 12 and a half minutes left. Yep. But the Maggies need to uh, be wary of a strong finish from the from the Blues, the Armadale Blues, and uh, 
make sure they complete their tackles. The, the discipline's been very good, particularly in mm. the second half. The, the, the few penalties given away to start, but uh, it's hardly been a penalty in the second half. So. No, there hasn't been. What I've really enjoyed, though, as Emma touched on a second ago too, Glenn, is the... Uh, the fact that the sportsmanship between these two yep. clubs has just yep. been unbelievable. And the referee doing a good job this afternoon as well. That's for sure. Yes, he hasn't missed a trick. Um, stopping the game when it needs to be for these injuries. Unfortunate as they are. So we've lost three for the Blues this afternoon, haven't we? We sure we've... have. We've had an ankle and knee injury, um, a nose injury. And uh, not too sure what's happening out there. It looks like someone's holding his head, but he had his shoulder up before. So not sure if it's shoulder or head. Um, or what's okay. going on. As the, uh, the Magpies, of course, are in the middle of their huddle discussing how they're going to try and close this game out in reserve grade for this afternoon. Well, we think it might be a neck in injury. They've brought mm. the brace out to, to him, so that is serious. Yeah, and they've got uh, someone holding his head as well and they've taken off the helmet. Right. Um, so, fingers crossed, yeah. he'll be okay. Not very nice. Absolutely. Looks like they're uh, calling for a medicab. He's calling time off, isn't time he? Time off. The Magpies win 22 to 10. Yeah. Serious injury out there this afternoon, which you'd never want to see. Let's hope he's okay. And the game is over. 22 to 10. The Magpies won. Not the way that you want to see a game closed out, is it, Glenn? No, that's for sure. But um, two o'clock is the time. Okay, so in around about 20 minutes' time, we'll uh, get things underway with the uh, the women. They'll be out there playing uh, very, very soon. But uh, in the meantime, it's over to the Nevilles.
Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ray McCoy joining you, along with Glenn A. Rose and uh, Miss Emma Bailey. And we're here for the uh, the women's tens in the uh, the big game today between the the Blues and, of course, the uh, the Tamworth Magpies. We're coming to you from the nest. Glenn, good to see you back, mate. First time we've caught up for a little while. That's correct, Ray. Good to see you again. And, and of course, we've had a, a couple of new additions. Scotty's gone away for break. He'll come back for first grade. And Emma Bailey, ready for the ladies. And, uh, again, we'll head into this now. How do you see the game? Oh, look, last week was a bit of a hit. 67-0 loss to the Albies. They have played six rounds so far, three losses, three wins. And when they do win, it's not a small, uh, you know, there's not a small gap there. They win by a fair few. So it'll be interesting to see how they go. Uh, last time versing the Blues, they won 42-12. So it'll be good to see if we can get that around that number again. Yeah, well, the, the Blues have similar win-loss ratio. They've got uh, two wins and uh, three losses, but a deferred game. Uh, so they could win that and it could be 3-3 <laughs> three, three the same. So, again, right. evenly balanced. OK, we're about to kick off. Uh, Emma, do you want to run through the uh, the Magpies team, if you will? Yeah, no problem. So, number one, Nicole Hamilton. Two, Beth. Uh, Beth Andrews, sorry. Three, Tani Reed. Four, Flo Davidson. Five, Tegan Nichols. Uh, six, Ash Bridge. Seven, Rach Martin. Eight, Paige Le Leonard. Nine, Rihanna. Sorry, we've got mix up here. Yeah, Rihanna Bordick. Uh, Ellie Hennerford at 12, 13, Amy Watts, 14, Lauren, and 15, Katie Wilson, 19, Toby Lee Clough, and 18, uh, sorry, 20 is Amy Kermode. A slight knock on there in that uh, tackle for the Magpie, so first scrum and the lose to feed it.
very quickly for you the Armadale Blues ladies team. At number one, we have uh, young Maddie. At number two is Allure and Cotter. Number three is Brooke Turner. Number four is Bree. We'll get Bree's first name. We don't have it there, so it's Bree. All right, that's good on you, Bree. Christian Willis at number five. Number six is Sarah Flicks. Number nine is Katie Chapman. Number 10, Hannah Edwards. 15 is Meg Randall. Uh, Britt is at number 18. Laurie Fogarty at 19. And Nat Mays at number 20. That's the Armadale Blues team, Glenn. It's action to plenty. Yep, it is. And uh, the, the Magpie girls are doing well there to force the Blues back, even though they won the scrum. They look like they've come over the top. No, they've lost the uh, ruck. But... Oh, tripped her up good, legally, of course. Ah, oh, yes, the <laughs> Magpies have... Got the ball from that ruck. Cutting back in, down the middle. Here goes Paige. Oh, Andrews made the break. Can she go the distance? She's running. She's going to get there all the way. Paige Leonard. It's great run indeed. Scored, yes, just made it. She's had a lot of great games, hasn't she? I mean, yeah. I mean you, we've d done a couple of these now, and she's always having a good game out there, so congratulations to Paige. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, just want to let everyone know, if you want any Magpies merch... So that's a, uh, a bit of a replay. Glad a couple of weeks ago, Paige did exactly the same thing from the centre of the field. Right. Only uh, she was heading towards the pickle sign last time. So That's right. Uh, very strong indeed, but she's also uh, very strong in defence as well, which a lot of the other ladies from previous games now know. Yeah, well, she's been with the Magpies ever since we've been broadcasting, hasn't she, Ray? Right from the from sevens. Yeah. And uh, always been a, a, a loyal supporter and, yeah. and player, and um, it's good to see a score. Just uh, going through, Emma, welcome to the team now. The progression we've seen, Glenn, over the last two or three years with the ladies has been uh, incredible. Certainly for the Magpies, they came on, they had the numbers. Uh, the skill set wasn't there, but uh, the coaching staff certainly doing a great job and uh, they're playing some very good rugby. That's right, and I think the 10s suit them better than the 7s uh, with yeah. having more girls there. And that Pick it up again. Re replace that, that's good. There we go, coming out wide. Got the overlap, but no, uh, she's... Crowded out a winger. It's Lauren Harvison. Ball's back inside. Segan Nichols doing some good work. The big forward's now taking it forward. Drawing them in. Numbers out wide. Oh, that's they do good. Good offload. Bit of a dummy. Stopping. We mentioned last week, Emma, the structure of the Magpies. Ladies always in place, ready for a phase to go back across the field if needed, Glenn. Yep, yeah, that. I've got the overlap here. They should be able to move it out quickly. Yeah, got numbers. They've got numbers. That's They've good. got numbers. Good work. And guess who? Paige is back. And gives it away. Beautiful try. Well, Nicole, Nicole Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> and a orchestrated that. Yeah. Uh, the girls play such a good game as a, you know, like we've said multiple times, they're, they're a team on and off the field and um, they've brought in their new players who've never played before and giving them a run as we see Toby Lee's about to go out uh, onto the field and this is her first time playing yet she feels like she's been with the team for a very long time. They're just mm. very welcoming and um, that, that builds a really good structure for any team so it's good to see that they all get along so well. I'll drink with anyone. <laughs> the, um, Glenn, we were saying last week the, the structure coming into the uh, the Magpie ladies, uh, Robert Mills doing a great job of the, uh, the coaching staff mm -hmm. and uh, the game's certainly gone to a, a nice edge from now. Again, the Armadale Blues, we've been saying all the way through with the uh, the ladies, certainly the sevens and now the tens, it's a, it's a growing phase of rugby but uh, one the communities are loving. It is. Oh, oh she's dropped it say. on. That's good to make play on the ref. Paige has got go. it again. And go. <laughs> rumbles forward, offloads and out to the winger. Yeah. And once again, oh, oh, bit of a loose one there, but Nicole's picking up. Recovered it. Down the blind. But once again, the back line's in position now. Should the ball come out for a, another phase? Oh, she's offside. <laughs> Ellie Hennifer ducking back inside. Numbers out Oh, here a needed. step, and where she go? That's Tegan Nichols. Oh, that's good to see. Well done, Lo Tegan. Lo lovely step. <laughs> and mm. almost between the posts. Mm. I think just looking at the moment, that one of the things that uh, are very appealing for the Magpies is the fact that they're, they're holding their position on the field, Glenn, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's getting the Blues to wonder whether they're actually going to go through the middle or, in fact, take the ball out wide. That's right. And uh, once they hold their spots, there are gaps in the middle. So Emma has updated the, uh, the scoreboard. 17.
There we go. 17 nil. Well, Glenn, it's weather fine track good here. We did expect some rain today, but uh, we don't. We have a, I won't say a clear day, but it's a, it's a bit chilly, but a, an enjoyable day. So good to see a good uh, good crowd good on hand at Magpie high. Park today. Yes, it uh, feels looking good. a little bit torn up in one spot there, but uh, yes, I thought it might have been a bit sloppier after the heavy rain last night. But The Magpie's tackling really well today. Yes. Well, Look at that. Up on, that's good. First opportunity for the uh, the Blues girls to actually get the ball, see what they can do. Again, yeah. they're holding their numbers out wide. And one of the strengths yes, of the last the couple of weeks. the ball's rolled our way. And, oh, oh, lost it. No, it's gone back. One of the strengths of the Magpies has been their defence, so. Come on, you're offside, that's right. And <laughs> <laughs> our ref today, of course, is um, Peter Haynes from Armadale. Uh, it's always good to see them getting out there and involved. And if you do want to become a ref, which, you know... It, they struggle a lot of the time to find refs in any sport. So if you want to get involved in any uh, rugby refing, you just head over to the New England Rugby Facebook page and hit them up. While you're doing all that, very quickly again, we need some like and subscribes on uh, not only on our uh, our Facebook page, on the uh, the website as well for the Tamworth Magpies, um, but also if you're here at the ground and you're watching as well, the QR code is on the program, but it's also on the website as well. Like and subscribe. That's right. And, of course, the stream you were bringing us the, uh, the, the visuals uh, this afternoon. And uh, they're always good for all your events that you might like to record. So uh, look them up on their website to stream you. And uh, you won't be disappointed. Okay, the line out, first line out. And the Maggies have got it. No, he says it's not in straight. Two minutes 31 remaining in the first quarter. Four 10-minute quarters. Again, having watched the end of the second grade game, Glenn, that was uh, pulled up short with a, an injury. If we do get some information, we'll certainly pass it on to our, uh, our audience. Yeah, it look, looked like a, a neck injury. The uh, ambulance uh, did arrive. Uh, I like the fact that even though, and having been a trainer myself, the fact that you've got to take precautions. Did yeah. you train? Okay. It's not showing off now, Ray. Okay. <laughs> right, uh, this, this will be Emma's last day. <laughs> Okay, so they've taken the penalty and uh, they've got the throw in on this line, as you say, only a minute 45 to run down this yeah. first quarter. Actually, it's, it's, a, it's a magpie throw yeah. in. That's a Glenn, unusual. while the, uh, while the one-liners are coming out, I'm just thinking with Emma <laughs> Bailey, uh, maybe next week she might want to put on a black and white Guernsey and have a bit of a shot. Oh. Well, I think... Uh, what do you reckon? I think she should. I'm it's signing up next year. Have yeah, I told no, you? No. I think it'll be great. No, with challenges out. Except you can't use one-liners when I'm on the field because that's just bad. Sportsmanship, you know. <laughs> okay, we're having a scrum now, <laughs> and uh, it's a, a blues a feed for this scrum. I like these uh, three-two format on the ladies' scrums for the ten ten Looks aside. Good. Looks good. Um, and the girls are always strong in these uh, scrums uh, for the Magpies, and I find that across all, you know, first grade reserve, their, their scrums are always good, uh, strong, and they know what they're doing. There we go. Oh, that's Pushes out. the balls that's out. out. That's it. Come, uh, come out the same channel. Same channel. We're in the last minute, 45 seconds remaining in this first 10. The Blues feed. I think the temperature's dropping. Yes, very <laughs> much so. Come on, old mate. Let's go. Okay, the ball's in. And they've won it. That's good. Oh, bad luck. Yep. Yeah, offside play. Offside from the scrum, okay. Uh, I might detect a knock on first there, Glenn, but we won't, we won't go into depth there. At the end of the day, we've only got two seconds remaining in this first 10. And the score is 17 0 Magpies leading the Armadale Blues. Good defence, they're moving up nicely. All still in play. They're yeah, forcing it back. Good. Going absolutely nowhere. Ball back inside. Should come to a halt now. 
So the ball goes back. Since you've been streaming the girls, have you noticed less fatigue going from the 7 to the 10 on the field? A much stronger game? I think it is because, again, Glenn, you'll agree, with the with the sevens, the ball was constant for each of the players. That's right. Now with the, the ten, it's a little bit more widespread. You can actually dominate play within the middle, give your backs a bit of a rest out wide. And, uh, and again, they're oh, playing... Oh, she's blocked the ball. Yeah, they're playing in channel these days, so it's just a more... Oh. <laughs> it's a, a more open game. There. <laughs> but... You never know in these dying seconds, do you? No, anything can happen. They thought we were going to score then, but uh, broke down. Good solid defence again. Yeah, they're defending well. <coughs> She's on her feet. They're laying the ball back very well. Coming out wide yeah. now. I don't have numbers blocked off very well That's indeed. Good defence. There, yep. From Tani Reid. Ball still alive. Oh, good work. <laughs> and picked up. That's good. That's okay, legal. Now they've got possession of the uh, the Magpies. I'm going to shoot over uh, with their skills. I'll keep this alive. Oh, yeah. She's quick. Ball oh, yes. Back. Oh, well. That's Ellie Hennepin. Flopped it back and number 12 picked it up. Well done to Ellie. Again, one of the... Uh, the important things we've been saying with the Magpies girls in their development, again, certainly from the sevens to tens, if there is a mistake or a loose ball, they swoop on it very quickly indeed. And they've got that formation just to move forward. And again, we've been playing now, what, for the last uh, two minutes in extra time, mm. um, above and beyond the ten, and uh, where possession was held by the, the Blues for the majority of the time. One mistake, and uh, the ball is picked up uh, by the Magpies and uh, um, Ellie Hannaford over in the, in the corner. Yep. So at the end of the, uh, the first ten... The, uh, the Magpies lead 22 points to nil. We've got a uh, no kick, 22 nil. We'll take a short break. Come back shortly, Glenn. Thank you. Okay, we're back getting ready for the uh, the second half. In fact, the second quarter. <laughs> the last bit of the first half. <laughs> we'll go through the names. I'm Ray McCoy. You're? Glenn A. Rose. And you are? Emma Bailey. And we're at Magpie Park, or the Nest as they call it, for the uh, the Magpies Rugby Union Club here in Tamworth. Now, this is the uh, the ladies' tens. So again, a big first grade encounter coming up after this as well. In the, uh, the second grade game today, Tamworth running out winners, 22 points to 10. All right, Glenn, we're heading into the second quarter. And the Maggies to kick off uh, for this uh, quarter. Holding a commanding lead. Wait. Okay, the ref's uh, got his watch ticking. Oh, oh! The blue girl there had her mouth open 
too far. Missed the ball. He's going to play the knock on, I think. No, no, he's not. Jump on it. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl too. Keep it. Oh, now. Keep it going that way quick. Oh, it's he come back and see. Again, they've got the players in position ready for a phase either side, left yep. or right, coming the open side again now. Beth Andrew. Carl Hamilton clears the ball. This is Rhiannon Brody. Oh. That's it. Yes, she's broken Amy through. Amy Watts. And places it down. Amy Watts has been playing some incredible games in the uh, last few weeks we've seen as well. She's quite strong. When she's got that ball, she knows where that line is and she aims straight for it. So uh, it's great to see her uh, get that um, try. Well, they've carried on the uh, the second quarter, Glenn, from the uh, from the first, 22, uh, what are we now, 27 nil? Yes, 27 nil is the score. And we are playing four 10-minute quarters. And uh, Ash is about to kick. Come back her in. Yep. Yes, and she's got in. it. Very good. The, uh, the flags are up just as it left her, uh, left her boot. So <laughs> solid from there. Now we go back, Glenn. We, uh, we've talked for the last couple of weeks as well with uh, Emma joining us. It's now the, uh, the, the Armadale Blues where they'll actually regroup. And hopefully they've, they haven't had a lot of possession. No, in it, this game at all. But the defence of the Magpies has been excellent when they, the Blues have had the ball, so they're not letting uh, them get away with much. That was one of their strengths the last couple of weeks. Again, it's a uh, strong again now. Nice solid kick off in the air. Oh, all goes down. That's the uh, the third kick off. There's been a mistake by yeah. the the Blues, and every time now the Magpies have made them pay for it. Pay for it. Ball coming out wide. There are numbers here if they need it. Drawing them out. Wing is clear. Ball is clear. There's always great backup from all the Oh, players. yes, a good well inside done. pass, and she's over. <laughs> that's uh, That's quality rugby, whether it be men or women. Yep. That is quality rugby. A play between Flo Davidson and uh, and Ash Bridge. Good rugby. Yeah. Um, the initial mistake of the Blues, the girl had her hands in the wrong position. She, to catch the ball. She's obviously not a cricketer. I, I, well, again, and, and I'm not being... Um, and Negative here. Little things that you pick up from, from the other games that uh, that the ladies play. That's generally a netball catch, Glenn. Mm. I may be wrong, Emma. So it's generally I'm hands, in, hands in front to catch the ball is either a basketball or a netball catch. And again, coming into a new game, which the, the rugby is for a lot of the ladies, and we don't know the history of that particular play, but again, hands out in front. You're right, Glenn. Didn't bring the ball into it. That's no. right. Um, and that's really been for the uh, three occasions now. But... Once again, the Magpies have taken advantage of that spill and turned it into points, and we're now looking at a scoreline of 34 points to nil on the uh, the All Sub Science scoreboard. I said to you, they when they win, when they go for a win, they try and get those big oh, numbers between. So mm. it's good to see. Good tackle. Well done. That's a uh, Toby Lee going in for that. Oh, and took the tackle. ball, you beauty. Yes. Oh, good inside pass. There she's That's gonna, Beth Andron. Oh, good cover coming across and good Beautiful cover. Tackle. Well done. And she's goal. Oh. She bombed it. <laughs> the crowd Again. is absolutely loving this game. It's always fun to watch the ladies out there. Again, good rugby attack and defence, Glenn. Good, good, good cover defence from the uh, the Blues. It was, yes. That was uh, very entertaining. The crowd actually love it. Oh, they love the girls. They're crazy. It's always um, a fun game to watch. Well, you'll know next year when you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> At least when I'm calling uh, in for a sickie on Monday, I have a legit reason. You've seen it happen. <laughs> you'll, you'll only do it once. <laughs> Give it to Bailey. Good push by the Magpies, but the Blues have cleared it. And an open no field. Back. And Ash coming out to get that ball. Yeah, good chase from the uh, the Blues. Couple of players up there. Oh, straight good pass. Clear straight down through. the middle. And she's beaten them too. Go, Ash. Yeah, she's too good. Too good for them. 
Excellent. Well, this is what used to happen to the magpies <laughs> a couple of years ago. The uh, transition's been wonderful. Yes, yeah. Uh, okay. Go back down to the uh, the coaching staff doing a wonderful job, but also the attitude of the ladies. They're backing up. Their fitness has to be there. Oh, them. absolutely. And um, their backup play has been superb. Oh, you see them training up on the side, warming up, and um, you know they're doing some fantastic moves. And I think millsy has been a great coach yeah. coach for them this year. So um, it's good to see um, some sex, six, uh, some success coming yeah. through. They started way back in the pre season, and they were all very keen to uh, have a go, and are showing now. It's also drawing people through the gate as well. It's yeah. This is quality rugby, and I know from a from a Armadale Blues side, uh, they're giving it everything they've got. They haven't had a lot of possession, but again, I just think the skill set uh, in a, in attack and defence mm. for the Tamworth Magpies is um, it's probably a little bit more fine tuned than I expected to see this year, Glenn. Yeah, that's right. The score's blown out to 39 silks. Oh, that hasn't got the. Yep, that's the only thing they haven't been practising at training is kicking. Oh, guess what? <laughs> it's just short. <laughs> Edging that for it. Yeah. Okay, Should've an opportunity now. Opportunity for the Blues now. Glenn? Yes, to uh, take it away to the halfway for free kick. Well, if you're thinking of coming to uh, rugby, but no matter where you are, sitting at home watching the, uh, the, uh, the broadcast, beautiful day down here now. The sun is out. Oh, yes. Oh. Pinch the ball. Yeah. Oh, high tackle. Oh, so it's yeah, a penalty just... now to the Magpies as well. Strong work there from Nicole Hamilton. She takes the ball up again. Good pass. Good good run there from the... Katie Wilson. When they want that ball, they want it and they'll yeah. get it. They, the girls are strong in that. They know what they want Oops, when they go in for he... it. Yeah, they won't rush. One of the things they've done... They steps can in. Very well. Steps again. That's Katie Wilson. And again. <laughs> and they've got numbers out Hands wide. They need it. Yes. Oh, she's cut through again. That's Rihanna Broderick. Beautiful. Phenomenal player. Beautiful. Good footwork. <laughs> she's strong every week. When she sees that line exactly like Ash, she just goes straight for it. And uh, Rihanna's played a really fantastic game this year. So can we kick this one? Yes, it looks good. Yes, the flags are up. That's Ash Bridge there. Okay, scoreline moves on now to 49. Is it? We're 46. 46. 46, okay. They're still doing their numbers over there. So okay. 46 to nil. We've got two minutes remaining in the first half. We are playing four 10-minute quarters. And again, I think I'm getting the impression the last couple of weeks that once the uh, Magpie ladies get in front, they do put the hammer down. Mm -hmm. And um, without being That's negative, better, better it's going to be a nice score line. The sun. Oh, she took this well this time. Learned from mistakes. And a oh. lovely lift tackle. And Beth Andron, strong tackle. Yeah. Oh, they've gone the ball again. Oh! <laughs> Rihanna's got that again, and Amy Watts taking it cut, off her. Cut again, and she's got it under the post. <laughs> Amy's straight through. <clears throat> what can you say? Well, a bit of a walkover at the moment, isn't it? Uh, the coach is getting tired running out the water <laughs> to the girls. It's, uh, again, working through this 2022 20, season as you Heads towards the uh, the finals, the turnaround we've uh, we've said before, Glenn, for the Magpies ladies is uh, absolutely incredible. Ashbridge getting that uh, kick in there once well. again. Sorry about that, Ray. Oh, that was quick. So we're 53. Again, uh, all goes well now as we drive towards the, uh, the finals later on in the year. Well, the girls' uh, biggest win so far in the season has been 72-17 against Rob. Um, like I said to you, when they go big, they go big. Mm. Um, there's been some big numbers in the in the girls' games, so 42-29, 42-12, 42-10. Um, there's always that big gap, and that's mm. I think it's getting really hungry to have oh, that ball. Running over the line. If you've uh, just seen on the uh, the TV screen there, the little trainer for the, the, uh, the magpies, he will be the fittest man by the end of the day, <laughs> taking out the water. Okay, Blues take it forward, Who's lay the it? ball back. And, oh, no, Hannah they've Edwards. lost it. Oh, there's been oh, an injury. Hurt. Hannah Edwards down. A solid tackle. I think that's one of the daunting things as well, that the uh, where it's very, very enterprising in attack, that every time the uh, the Armadale Blues do get the ball and look to consolidate, they really don't have the time because the solid defence from the, the Magpies has generally been upsetting their plays and in stri the first and stripping, the, stripping the ball from yeah. them. So. And they lose possession straight yeah. away. Yep. 
Um, we are just saying about sportsmanship in the last game there, Ray, about, you know, a lot of the Magpies players going out there and helping the Blues. Yeah. Um, mm. And it, once again, we're seeing it right now. And at half, uh, sorry, after the second grade, um, the boys came out of the dugout with boxes of Powerade for the Blues, um, you know, after their player mm. was getting taken off. So it's always great to see that sportsmanship. And that builds a really good relationship when it comes to playing each other. Um, because even though there's a bit of a rivalry, it's, it's still, you know, you've got Sport. each other's back. Okay, yeah. we're in the uh, halftime gap at the uh, at the moment, 53-0 with the uh, the Tamworth Magpies leading the Armadale Blues. We'll take a short break. Glen A. Rose, Ray McCoy and Emma Bailey come back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Ray McCoy, Emma Bailey and Glenn A. Rose. We are coming to you live from the, the Magpies Nest at the uh, Tamworth Rugby Union Club. And again, we're big games today against the uh, Armadale Blues in the second grade game today. No third grade. The uh, second grade game, the uh, Magpies running out winners 22 to 10. We are at half time in the, uh, the ladies' tens. And at the moment, we've got uh, the Magpies with a very strong lead. 53 points to nil over the Armadale Blues. Glenn, you'll look on the first half. Oh, it was a very entertaining game. The uh, Armadale girls are putting in their, their best effort, but it hasn't been good enough. The Magpie girls have been well on top, uh, making sure of their tackles and some good runs and their passing. They're, they're supporting each other, which has been very pleasing to see. Emma Bailey, your view. Yeah, it's been a really, really strong game for the Magpies girls. They're going in for those tackles strong. When they want that ball, they're grabbing it and they're, they're getting it. And they're always backing each other up, which uh, helps a lot. The determination shown by the Magpies in attack and defence is uh, probably the main reason, certainly the main reason we've got a scoreline of 53-2-0 as Toby we get Lee into the, uh, the second half. 
Pass it now. That's it. Go. Oh. Paige Leonard. Gets the ball out. And that's the, the number five in Tegan Nichols. Again, Glenn. Very good. Uh, I haven't started the clock here yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Taking off where they left off in the first half of that try between the post. Uh, some good, strong running right from the kickoff. That, as you said, the determination shown by the girls has been outstanding. And she's got the goal. That's 60 nil now. Fantastic score for the girls, the Magpies, here at the Nest. Okay, where it's nice and uh, we, will, we won't say cool, but it's, uh, it's uh, well, it's. It's pretty good, actually, here at the park. Uh, if you are sitting at home, wherever you may be watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Spread the word as well. But uh, the uh, QR code is on the uh, the program. If here at the uh, the game, it's on our web page as well. Certainly Facebook. But jump onto the uh, the YouTube and like and subscribe. Okay, the have a tackle. <laughs> well, the... We got technology everywhere around here. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, all well, our sponsors at the moment yeah. as well who uh, get us to be able to broadcast this wonderful game, Glenn. Yeah, that's all. Oh, the Magpies are going good. Oh, good backing up. Well done. Another one for Tegan Nichols. Yeah. And that's what we were talking about just before. The yeah. girls are there. When they when they run, that's... they know that they can just throw that blind side yeah. and it's going to go into someone's hands, which is phenomenal to see. Amazing. Yep. And Another try between it. the posts. So... Kick to come. Six, 65. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the crossbar and bounced over. And that was Tegan who got the try before, giving it that kick. I uh, I think the other person who might be having a very busy day, is that Mitch Hanlon over there on the scoreboard? It sure is. It is. That's the boss himself. <laughs> so um, good on you, Mitch. And again, a, a bit of a, a call out too. If you're actually here in Tamworth and you'd like to get involved with the, the rugby, I was talking to Mitch earlier through the day and certainly through the week, but... Uh, more volunteers are certainly welcome. It's a big game uh, uh, to support right through the uh, the course of the season. So if you're a rugby fanatic or just like to uh, support your community, get in touch with the uh, the Tamworth Magpies and see what you can do to help. And very satisfying too it is when you see the efforts of all the uh, players and it is involved. Probably the harshest oh. thing is to actually put up with Mitch Hanlon's dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> in three years, I haven't heard one that's, well, exceptionally funny anyway. <laughs> We'll see how he goes this year. So a penalty there to the the Blues. Toby Lee going yeah, for tap, a great tackle tap there. and run. And stolen the ball as per well usual. Well done, Toby. And this That's is been... Toby's first season. Uh, is it? No, no. Gets the pass away. Come on, back, get with her, get with her. Oh, good bum rush there. <laughs> That's it, passing. It's going. Keep it. Go! Oh, oh, went, went back, went back. Good on your ref. Watching it. That's good run. Plays, good plays run, yeah. Players in. Oh, run. well. Beautiful. Tipped on. And Page has pushed off again and to stuff a strong run and gets the pass to the winger who goes that's, over. <laughs> you beauty. That's, that's Amy. Amy Watts. Fantastic play. Well, congratulations, ladies. But again, I go back to the, uh, the core of the club. The coaching staff that are actually getting these girls or getting the best out of the girls in attack and defence. Their skill level is superb. Their fitness level is dynamic. Nicole Hamilton and she's got the kick. goal. So does that beat the record, Emma? Sorry? That beat the <laughs> That has beat their uh, score do. record so far this season. Uh, their last win was 72. 72-17. Um, again, the, the thing that this is doing for rugby, not only just here in Tamworth, but uh, I guess Australia-wide is bringing patrons through the, the front gate to support yes. it, not only on the ground, but also on, on TV like we are at the moment as well. Mm. So that's why we'd like you to uh, subscribe, yep. like, do all those things. Oh, oh. No, goes back to halfway. Didn't make it. Looked like the old Lenny Diet kick off there with the screw, but uh, <laughs> didn't make the distance. Okay, the Blues tap. And ball stripped again. No, knocked on. Uh, 
a few changes made. The uh, Blues girls, I think. Maybe not. Sun is out nice and bright. Three minutes 40 remaining in the third quarter. Okay, the Blues half to feed. Yeah. Compulsory. Oh, I've lost the strike. No, they've got it back. It just gets... Oh, spilled it down the bread basket. That's what the defence in their faces uh, put the pressure on them and they're watching the players and not the ball. I guess the only thing the, the Blues need to concentrate now uh, on now, Glenn, is concentration. Just simply maintaining their composure, keep yes. building on what they've already entrenched, not being happy with the scoreline of 74-0. Because <laughs> when you do, you get to this last stage, as if you allow things to fall back in, then uh, uh, you pick up bad habits. Yes. So it's right. again, as Emma said earlier, just keep on punching away. <laughs> okay, the Magpies to uh, feed this scrum just on their side of halfway. Now the ref's not happy. It can become quite dangerous if not done right, those scrums, that's, that's for sure. That's why they take their time right through, even with the big boys. Bind and push. Glad you're not out there, eh? That was a happy hooker. <laughs> Oh, he'd be very close to being offside. Here we go down the blind side. Good step. Numbers coming through. Now, Rihanna Bordick doing some great stuff. Again, down the. Uh, now, watch this. They'll draw the numbers in. Their, yeah. their players are in, in the back line are already in position, ready for a phase. And away yeah. we go with the ball now. They'll draw it back in again one more time. Rach Martin going through. Numbers are in place. They go the blind oh. again, drawing the numbers back in. Quality game from Rihanna Bordick. There's not much of her, but she can break those tackles. Well, that was Lauren funny. Harvison going through. Numbers are in place now. If they spread yeah, the ball, they've got that's to go. That's right. They've got to go. The big gap is there. She's only Straight got to move through. forward. Straight forward. Draw and pass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paige Leonard is Shame. over. They had the numbers, as you said. It was a foregone conclusion. Just had to hold on to the ball. Uh, they had many options. and uh, Amazing. Could, Yep. 79 points to nil. Tamworth Magpies lead the Armadale Blues. We are in the last minute of the third quarter. And Nicole Hamilton going for the kick. And? Missed it. She's out of shocker. She won't get another kick. <laughs> <laughs> so score remains 79 nil. There we go. They've blown the, uh, the whistle now for the uh, three-quarter time. We'll come back with one more 10-minute uh, sector for the, uh, for the ladies' tens. And then we build up to the big one, the first grading clash between the Tamworth Magpies and the Armadale Blues. What's your name? Glenna Rose. Glenna Rose. And Emma Bailey. And Ray McCoy. We're here live to you from the, uh, the Bird's Nest, the Magpies Nest, here at Tamworth Rugby Union Park. Back shortly.
Okay, we're back for the uh, final quarter in the uh, ladies' game, the tens. The Magpie girls leading by 79 to nil. The scoreboard's Sorry, got 83, it. 83. My bad. I'm, I'm falling behind. Over Emma Harley only had one job. I know. 83 points to nil. This is why Mitch Ooh, is on a big top charge. of it and I'm not. Yeah. Crowds into this. <laughs> they really are. And it's always good to hear them out there. And there's nothing better than when you're playing and you can hear the uh, the, the people behind you. And oh, all well. friends. Actually, you've got to give a pat on the back for the Armadale Blues ladies too, Glenn. Uh, Emma, they haven't given up all day, even That's though right. it is a, it's an 83-0 uh, scoreline. It's been an entertaining game. Oh, Ooh. bad pass, not looking. And another knock, knock on. on. No, ball's gone back, they're called. Okay, he has gone. Uh, he's gone for a, a knockback. So the, the the Blues still in possession. Not Nine anymore. minutes remaining. They've been stripped. Paige Leonard has uh, ripped it out there in the tackle. So that's good. Down the blind side. Oh, dummy! That's and she's Nichols. through. First. Tegan Nichols. Oh, oh, did she lose it? No, he's given the try. Yeah. She's had some fantastic <laughs> try. Number five. Again, you've got to give credit the uh, the defence from the uh, the uh, the Armadale Blues. Again, she uh, covered as best she could. But it's, uh, it's that combination of, uh, of skills, determination, and, and speed. fitness. Speed, and and yeah. fitness. You can't beat speed. Yeah. You know all about that, mate. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. The playing days. Ashbridge got and for that kick. No, Ooh, missed, missed the kick. It's two she's missed. Never kick again. <laughs> 88 points to nil. We have uh, eight two, minutes two remaining. Two fat ladies, isn't it? <laughs> Don't even go there. We got into trouble doing something like you got into trouble a couple of years ago, Glenn. <laughs> And I have splinters in my tail sitting on the fence. <laughs> okay, eight minutes remaining. Again, really looking forward to the uh, first grade encounter as well, Glenn. Oh, yes, it should be a bottler uh, this yeah. afternoon. Now, Emma, while we're doing that, they've got a couple of big occasions coming up for the Magpies. Yes, they do. They have the Old Boys Weekend, which is always a massive one here at Magpies. That's Friday the 22nd of July at night here at The Nest um, and the Black and White Ball on the 23rd at West. So you can book your tickets uh, via the Magpies website. Um, and also while you're on that website, check out their membership, their merchandise, like and subscribe. Um, it's all on there for you. They're doing a great job for the Tamworth Rugby Union Sporting Club. Glenn, are you going to get the uh, the penguin suit out for that, the black and white ball? I probably will, Ray. Dust off the old... Uh, Away you go. Cumber bun. <laughs> Emma? Um, oh. Yeah, I've already got my dress already picked out. It's all ready to go. Yeah. Laziness, he wouldn't get out of the way. Oh, he's giving it offside, but the same thing. Still a penalty. Yep. Seven, uh, seven minutes remaining. In this ladies' game, and again they've gone for the fast run from our winger on the side. No, the ball go is too, too big. Far, though. Another injury there for the Blues. Oh, 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 oh! Good chance at uh, exhaustion. Of course, there is no injury uh, time no. here no. Uh, for the women's. And I think Glenn, you explained very well in the uh, second grade game, even though we had that bad injury, yeah. and, and play was eventually called off. There is no time off. That, that's right. So play uh, shall continue. We have six, uh, just under six and a half minutes remaining in the, the last quarter for the ladies' tens. You mentioned well, I the score think this line, injury might take up that time, mate. It's, uh, it looks serious. They got her on the, right down on the deck. Well, again, Emma laughed before, but having been a trainer for 100 years, <laughs> that once the, uh, the trainer is down holding the, the neck, it's either a back or a, uh, assumed to be, a back or a, uh, a neck injury. And again, no, she's up now. I'll be asking the questions. And uh, as we saw with the ambulance last time in the last game, they've run. Uh, they've done the role very well indeed. So we are assuming it may be. We're certainly looking at it. But again, you can get burners. Again, quite a few injuries that can be caused uh, during the game. Uh, good to see that the arms and legs are moving from there. So it's also easy to jar up in this colder weather. Uh -huh. uh, running, all it takes is one little single step, and your body doesn't feel the same in this weather. She's going good. Yeah. Looks like she's got so it looks a head like clash. Head clash from there. So very good, Emma. Pick that up. Oh, yeah. thanks, Ray. That's all right. I try my best. All right, Glenn. We won't. Uh, we won't waste time. Looking forward to the first grade uh, encounter. What are your thoughts? Well, again, they come in a, a very uh, even teams. Mm. Uh, both only with one win and four losses, and both had a bye. So, um, on paper, but the one win that the Magpies did have was against the Blues in the previous round, <laughs> yes. so uh, that augurs well. And being the, with the home ground advantage uh, puts us with the upper hand, I would think, 
It's also a uh, day of celebration for two of the uh, the Armadale Blues players uh, celebrating their uh, 100 games, and that is John Roberts and uh, Brodie Rigby. So we'll give them a bit of a, uh, a stand out uh, as they, they take the field at 100 games, I guess in any club, oh, that's, uh, any that's, sport. That's a marvellous achievement. It is a tremendous achievement, and uh, <laughs> it takes a fair few years, particularly the last few years have been short seasons. Uh, so, yeah. so that's good that they've stick, stuck with it. Well, in, in, in bush footy, it doesn't matter what code you're playing, you're, you're looking at at least five, six or maybe even seven seasons to get those numbers up, providing yeah. you don't have injuries and the like from there. Some yeah. will actually take up to, uh, to a 10-year period, but to achieve... And they're 100 first-grade yeah, games. They're exactly right, yeah, first-grade. Not club games, but 100 yeah. first-grade games. So yeah. uh, congratulations to uh, the boys. And uh, they'll be trying, certainly, to celebrate with a, uh, with with a, a win. win yeah. Well, the good news is this young lady is up and about. She's going to probably have a bit of a headache. Mm. But uh, we'll have a scrum now. It's going to be the uh, Armadale yes. feed, but it's just great to see she's okay. And There's congratulations, to yeah, congratulations to the uh, the staff on board for the Blues to make sure there, Glenn, that uh, she was okay. Yes, so that, and that's off right. She comes. The uh, care of the players yeah. is uppermost. Now you can see on the screen now the little trainer coming off carrying the water. When he started this game, he was actually six foot four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, He's had a very busy day. Yeah, 88 nils the score okay. at the moment and uh, three minutes 40 to go. And the scrum to form with the Blues to feed it. Midway between the 22 and the 10 metre line. <laughs> Can they hold possession? Can... They're going to kick. Good chase. Oh, she recovered. Got it. Got it. Okay, no, turnover now. Magpies in possession. They just rip that ball out when they want to, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they're very strong <laughs> in that, that regard. That's. Oh, look at the ball go. Well, she'll get... Uh, we used to call them coat hangers at training, Glenn. If you made a mistake like that, it's running from the uh, goal post to goal post. And back. That's your penalty for dropping the you ball. You should do that of a morning, Ray, before you come to work. <laughs> Lift off those happy endorphins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Blues are going to feed the scrum just into the uh, Maggie's half. Two minutes 30 to go. Oh, good. Offside. Oh, a bit keen, so it's going quick. to be a penalty to... Now, if you're, if you're the Armadale Blues, Glenn, you've got to do everything in this last two minutes to get across the line, are that's, you not? That's your my name, and, and the Maggies have got to hold them out. That's what they'll be trying to do. They got back quick, the Magpie girls. That was good to see, too. Ashbridge going for that tackle. Yeah. She's, she's had a cracker game. She sure oh, has. Oh, it's ripped the ball again. They're so quick with I'll it. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't leave your front door open, would you? No. Oh, no. Uh, turned it over, though. This girl's got some go on her. Number 10 says he's beaten a few, but... That's Hannah Edwards for the Blues. What? Oh, Too high a game. tackle. And she's off. And they got letting her go. And she's going to score. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Sarah Hick. Sarah Hick for the Blues. The Blues have hit the, sl hit the score that sheet. That crowd is going crazy. <laughs> well, you got to give them credit. Uh, as we saw in the, uh, the first quarter and the second quarter, in fact, Playing extra time until time uh, until time ran out or played stopped. Here we are in the uh, the last two minutes. Mm -hmm. The score was 88 points to nil, a dominant win from the uh, the Tamworth Magpies. But the positive from that, the girls have actually crossed the line. The score now line yeah. uh, score line now is 88 points to five. Well done to the Blues. And she's missed the conversion, and he's called full time. Well, congratulations! Yep. Great game, Emma. To wrap it up. Yeah, great game for the girls. And like I said to you, they're hungry. When they want that ball, they uh, get it. Um, it was a great fight from both teams, but the Magpies really came out on top. And uh, that's really good for the girls um, last week losing, I think it was 67-0 uh, to the Albies. So it's good to see them come yeah, back this week. Good bounce back. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Your view, Glenn? Oh, a terrific game for the girls. They did pretty well everything right. The, that one drop ball, uh, the, the, the way they've rest that ball away from in the tackles has been a highlight to me that uh, whenever the Blues had it they lost it in the tackle and 
the Maggies uh, punished them on the scoreboard. Just go back, if you will, Emma, to last week's result. Now, that's a, a comprehensive 88-5 to five win by the Tamworth Magpies. They got beaten, you said, last week yes. by Albie 67 nil. Uh, that's a big turnaround in points. I'll that's be massive. interesting now to see the improvement in the, the Magpies team moving forward in the uh, in the competition. But that's our final result, 88 points to five. Uh, Ray McCoy, Glenn A. Baker and Emma Bailey. We'll take a short <laughs> break. We'll all be back in just a moment to cover the big first grade clash. Well, here's the first grade game about to kick off. The Magpies are just uh, entered the field for a while cheering. A few stragglers still coming. Uh, the sun's gone behind the cloud, so it's uh, just overcast and cold, but uh, still. So good playing conditions uh, for the boys here this afternoon. And here comes the Blues out on the field, led by number 12, uh, Jack Grant. Well, if we, if we get ready for the uh, first grade encounter, I need to say that uh, I gave you another name as we finished off the uh, the ladies' game with Glenn A. Baker. I know you're an absolute legend with music, but that's, uh, in fact, Glenn A. Rose. But you could no doubt you use the other name whenever you can, mate. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, Ray McCoy, Glenn A. Rose with you. We're here for the first grade encounter between the, uh, the Tamworth Magpies and the Armadale Blues. Uh, again, we said earlier that we're celebrating a, a big milestone for two of their players in uh, John Roberts and uh, Brodie Rigby. And uh, again, 100 games, first grade games they've played for the club. Congratulations. Brodie, I believe, is the, uh, the number nine. And John uh, Roberts is the fullback at number 15. So the, uh, That's right, yep. The fullback and the, uh, the fly half, looking good. Mm. Well, champion, here we go. This is going to be exciting. Good crowd on hand here at uh, the Magpies Nest in Tamworth. And again, if you're watching on uh, on YouTube, don't forget to push the uh, the buttons, like and subscribe. Uh, the uh, QR code is also on the uh, the website and on our Facebook page as well. Jump on board. We're in for a very exciting game indeed. Now, Glenn, you did mention before we uh, went to the break, teams very evenly matched, uh, not only on the field but also on the uh, scorecard cool. at the moment. That's right. So it's uh, uh, one team will come out. <laughs> in front after this, so Magpies to kick off. And 
Ref's checking his watch and blows time. Solid take. Yep. First spread for the uh, the Blues. Oh, the good solid running, hard running. Oh, he's putting it back for a kick down the centre. Oh, 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 found touch too after the Magpie. Had, uh, mm. Connell Ling looking to uh, try and keep the ball into play. Didn't happen. No. And again, now uh, we've only been running about uh, not even 60 seconds, but certainly now the, uh, the Blues on the attack. They've got a line out. We're about uh, 15, possibly 20 metres out. Win well the line taken out. off the top. Good drive forward. Yeah, he's a big chap. Oh, he's lost it. He's put it back. Okay, spreading it wide now. And I really fell for that dummy inside. Yeah, wide again. Yeah, lost the ball, so Magpies are in control. What numbers have they got? One overlap. Ollie McKenzie goes to ground. He's offside, surely. Yep. <laughs> What's he? He's awarded a. It's a scrum, and it's a it's a blues feed. Here, bit of a knock on in there somewhere. Yeah, first scrum of the afternoon. And the 100, uh, 100 first grade game man, Brody Arugui, to feed this first scrum for the Blues. It'd be a good contest to see the, the power of the forward packs. As we've seen in previous games, Glenn, it's a matter of uh, testing the opposition, see where their strengths and weaknesses are. Early stages, only yeah. three oh. minutes into the game. Good jinking run there from the number eight, or is it? Again, the uh, the Blues have numbers on the open. Yeah. Can they use them? Spreading it the out numbers now. are short here. Oh, the number yeah, 10 good. is in a gap. Oh, he's uh, broken through. Oh, he's pulled his hamstring, though. But a good try. A try there. Yep. Yep. He's pulled his hammy. He had a lot of warm up too. You think he would have uh, been right, but he's uh, not. Mm. Again, in the in that setup there, the the numbers are always short on the Magpie side. John O'Donnell trying to cover two. Mm. Uh, again, the gap came through from there, and they've moved forward to a uh, with their points. First points of the game, and the Armadale Blues lead five points to nil. We still have 36 minutes remaining in the first half. Well, he's walking okay, so we, will, he, will he stay on? Mate, I don't think Fords actually have hamstrings. <laughs> okay, the other 100 uh, first grade game, Centurion has lines up the kick here. Uh, John Roberts. John Roberts. In a handy position, midway between the centre and the sideline, right on the 22. And he's hooked it. Okay, score remains five points to nil. The uh, Armadale Blues leading the Tamworth Magpies. This is the first grade game. Don't forget to jump onto the, uh, the uh, Facebook page, the web page, or onto our YouTube and hit like and subscribe. Good kick okay, off Hannah in the it. Again, as you can probably see on the screen then with the ball going high, the sun is certainly in the uh, the eyes of the Magpie players. Will the Blues take advantage here? They go kick straight away. Again, they're kicking high. 
return the kick. Yeah. Ollie McKenzie following through, first one down there. Again, return kick like the old days. Yeah. Heading towards the sideline. And here comes Harry, heavy Harry. Oh, oh. his first one. Yeah, he's offside. Yep, and the nice rest picked it. Again, you could see that start from uh, from Harry. Nice, yep. solid, uh, Arging solid run. run. Solid run, yeah. And the... Oh, doesn't find touch. Uh, that They're the coach killers, the little yep. things. Yep. You go from uh, having the ball up in the uh, the red zone on the attack, and now you're uh, you're further another 15, 20 yeah. metres back down the field, and you've. But we've got the, still got throw, the in, throw in, so hopefully we can get that. Um, Adam Wallace to throw in. Oh, well Wonder done. Ball. Oh. The move was on, but he uh, was too quick for the pass. Going wide. Oh, and an overlap. Steps. Breaks the tackle and loses it forward. The Magpies are on it. Yep, he's lost it forward. Emma Dorley has uh, joined us again, Emma Bailey. She's been down to the canteen, just making sure we've got the numbers right for the uh, the Magpies team. And again, on the uh, the program, Harry, Big Harry's not there, but Harry Mills playing at number three. Solid start from the big fella. Yeah, that was a great run. Aaron O'Keefe was making a return to a first grade I, in the second row there, number I do four. believe. Mm -hmm. uh, five, I think he is, is he? Got him down as number four on the official sheet. Oh, okay. See, so they might play swapsies in the shed, these boys. Yeah. There's a yep. short arm penalty. John o oh, he's lost it forward. Playing advantage, losing. Looks like our five and four may have changed. Swap Guernseys. Just very quickly, Emma, you've been down to the dressing sheds. The girls are very happy with their win. Yeah, very, very happy. They are. Once they win all these, they always are. playing really well. There we go. We had you turned <laughs> off because she's not coming back. So you're on. Uh, happy win. Yeah, they're very, very happy. Um, and like I said before, they're a great team. And whether they win or lose, it's always a good game. And they always go out there and support one another. Good as. Oh, what's that for? Penalty. He's not offside. It's mm. blocking. Well, he just got him offside. So the penalty to, to the uh, Blues uh, on the 10 metre line in the Magpies territory. Jack Grant, their captain, taking the kick. Scoreline is 5-0. Armadale Blues leading. We've got 30 minutes remaining in the first half. And rather right. a pleasant day. A winter's day, but rather pleasant. Yes, it's no... Uh, As we say, sitting here in... No rain and... Oh, not straight. So, Em, tell me this. Why do the ladies enjoy and come along to the rugby games? I think it's just a great environment. And if you're a very social person, then, um, I mean, I used to come here quite a lot as a kid. And, you know, you come here, it's a great time. You see everyone. It's a, it's a great way for everyone to just catch up on the weekend and hang out while you're supporting your favourite um, teams. And it's, it's the build and the feeling behind it as well that makes it so special to be here. Good as now. I wasn't here. I was away, but uh, Ladies Day went off with a bang. 
Huge success, uh, massive day, lots of ladies. Um, sadly disappointing for all of Magpies, uh, no wins, but <laughs> of course they've, you know, playing quite strong this week. And uh, it, yeah, it was a night that uh, you won't forget. It was a great one, and well done to Claire Salter who put that together. Okay, Connor Robertson to feed this drum for the Maggies. Uh, 15 out from their own try line. They're uh, holding steady in the scrum. Just got to hold the ball steady. Jono Dunlop, Dunlop going a good run, but uh, not much support there for him. We've got the, a Ooh, long, long pass. But That's Connor Lang there. Yeah. Phenomenal. We need a half back. Here comes Harry. But they waked up to him this time. He'll tackle around the neck. Yeah, but the ball wasn't out. No. They've turned it over. Nice tackle there by Aaron O'Keefe. Oh, missed tackle and he's going to go and score the fullback. That's that Centurion has done it. Score to try. Mr. Roberts, Johnny Roberts. Uh, the score quickly goes to 10 nil in favour of the Blues. 28 minutes remaining in the, the first half. I just noticed with the the wide pass, Glenn, so early in the game, um, normally this stage of the game you're keeping your structure in place. You've got your plan moves to come away from the back of scrums or certainly from, uh, from the rucks. But again, that uh, the wild pass to me just heralded the fact that Maybe even at this early stage, they're looking uh, as to what to do to get past the uh, the solid defence from the the Blues. Yeah, just just uh, hope it finds a support player. Mm. Early days, yeah, early days. Anything right. can happen as we've seen in the last game. Yes. But the boys don't want to drop their heads this early stage. They need to be making sure of their tackles. The Blues are playing really well. They're giving it at all. They're running hard and uh, supporting each other. Where the Magpies really a bit one out. John Roberts trying to uh, convert his own try. It's going to be a nice little celebration for his 100 games. It would. <laughs> That's a better kick. And he's got it. He's cracked it. Yep. So the score moves to 12 to Zilch. Uh, all right, Emma, as we come back to kickoff, we've had the uh, the ladies' day. What about old boys' day? Yeah, old boys' weekend is a massive weekend out here at the Magpies. And, of course, the big game of old boys' weekend kicks off on Friday, the 22nd of July, and that's going to be here at the Nest on Friday night. Um, and then on 23rd of July is the Black and White Ball, and you can find all the information and everything you need on their Facebook or their website. It's the Tenworth Rugby Union Club. Right, Glenn, back to the action. Yep. Harry's got it now. They've held him up. He's got his... Let's see what they can do now. Strong run. Yep. Ball's Darcy Barker. Back. Back on open side again. Oh, oh well, hand low. Good hands there by uh, Jack, Jack Hannaford. Oh, what oh. are you doing? Well, the referee's pulled it over, but the, uh, yep. it's very scrappy yep. at, the, uh, at the moment. Knocked it on from the Blues. Now we want to see the Magpies push hard in this scrum. On a Robertson again to feed when the ref's got it settled. That's a better push. Clean, clean ball. Here's their chance. Oh! Did well to hold on to that ball. Very much so, but nice. it's a, some, some mall, so. 
Yep. I'm just going to pull it up. Crowd getting into it. Yep. Some all there. They've held him up. Couldn't get to ground. He stops his watch. A bit of blood. No, a dislocated finger. Something. No, a bit no, of water. A... Uh, bit of blood. Bit of blood. Wipe the blood away. Yep, that's all good. <laughs> okay, but he's given the fee to the magpies. I don't think that's correct. He may change his mind. Or, no, oh, yeah. no, he's handed it over. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming the ball up for him. <laughs> now who we lost? Something happening on the sideline? No, the ball's there. Thanks. Time back on. I think he's waiting for a ball and always got it in his yeah. hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. 24 minutes remaining in the first half. It is the Tamworth Magpies and the Armadale Blues. Armadale Blues leading 12 points to nil. Glenn, I do know you're ready for this. You were Glenn A. Baker a moment ago, but we actually have a, uh, an international audience listening today right around the world no, that was on uh, YouTube. Have... Yep, he's caught it back. back. It was forward pass, that's for sure. Yes, mate, I'm led to believe there are listeners uh, and viewers everywhere, expats from, uh, from Australia, certainly from Tamworth, that are picking it up on, uh, on YouTube. And the idea now is to jump on and... Uh, like and subscribe, enjoy the game, and support the Magpies from afar. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all, Raymond. It's a, a entertaining game and uh, uh, lovely surroundings, good place to be. So why wouldn't you be watching? Again, we've got uh, Connor Robinson to feed, just run the 10 metre line. John O. Dunlop's getting a bit predictable. He don't think he's passed all day. Here comes oh the Mr. Ollie. Ollie McKenzie. Yep. He's gone to death. They've lost the ball though. Again. He's turned it over. He's got a good step this second row. It's big Tom Morgan. Yeah. Wide ball again. Wrap oh. around. Laying it back. Wide again. Oh, Big Harry's missed him. Tackle Harry. Magpie's defence is in line. Try and break the line. Yeah, it's, ooh, it's away. Blue's still on the attack, on about the four phases in. Good tackle there, puts him to ground. Storm and Norman. Oh, a bit of a shepherd. O'Keefe's got him. And the ball, that's good work, Aaron. Oh, what? Not releasing, he had the ball. That's one cool haircut on our, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I guarantee no one says, mate, what a shocker. <laughs> You'd only say it once. I'd go, actually, I like your haircut, Aaron. Okay, the Blues do a fine touch. And he does so. Good punt. Puts the, on the attack into the uh, red zone of the Magpies, right on the 22 virtually. Will they be able to, uh... yeah, oh, oh, Rich. Okay, that 
Flag it out. Good solid run. But, uh, I want to give a big shout out to Jeff Ellerton too. Uh, the uh, the club run around does everything, but That's don't right. pat me on the back. Job he's in Sydney at the moment, babysitting again, which granddads do. But uh, thanks for all your help, Jeff, and uh, you are one of the main reasons we're broadcasting live oh. Oh. from uh, the Magpies Nest. Well done, champ. Yep, and second that. A better defence here from the Magpies. What's okay. he got a given a uh, both teams the, have got numbers the, spread but yeah he's got advantage though to the the blues blues not not rolling away something uh that's very kickable in this position but will they go for the kick i think they should what will they do yes they're going to go for goal just adjacent to the uprights john roberts to come in again and uh and try and add to the uh, the points. Now 12 points to nil. And we have uh, 19 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. So your overall view so far, Emma, of the first grade game? Well, look, I've been running up and down the stairs uh, getting numbers and stuff. But from what I've seen, it's been quite a strong game on both, uh, both sides. Um, you know, we've seen a couple of times that Magpies just go for it. There's no structure. There's no – they're not playing smart mm. sometimes. So um, it's just being patient with that ball on Magpies' behalf. So let's see if they can do that. Jeffrey, There's a way. He's commenting. He's, he may be watching the game, but he's commenting. Oh, Okay. Oh, yes, he gets it. It's a bit of a wobbly one. So the score moves on to uh, 15 to Zilch in favour of the uh, Almadale mm. Blues. 18 minutes remaining. It's a dower game at the moment, Glenn. Very quick kick off there from the Magpies. Solid defence. That's good. That's it. Cam Wilcox getting involved. Comes back out to his wing with a bit of a stinger on his shoulder. Yep. Connor Lang's got it. Good kick. Yeah, down the line. Down on the 22. So, Magpies throw in though. Refs pulled him back. Just watching the uh, the Bonnie language of the players in that little kickathon from there. The Magpie players virtually stood dormant in the centre of the the playing area. Didn't move yep. back or forward. So had uh, have we even taken possession for the Magpies down the bottom? There was nobody back there to support the runner coming forward. So kick was the only option. Gone for the three-man line out and threw it long. Went to taking it well. So can the Magpies hold him at this time? Come on, tackle him. That's they've got numbers again out to the side on the uh, the blind no, side now. He's given the penalty already. A high tackle, I think. They might be a call. Pull it back. Yeah. Yep. High tackle. The Magpies must watch their mm. discipline. They're giving away another penalty, which is very kickable for um, Johnny Roberts to come up. Just making a note there, if anyone has the program, but Timmy Umbers is the uh, the number nine for the Magpies, where it actually had Connor Robinson down on the uh, on the chart. But, oh. uh, and Connor's number 15 today. He certainly is. They do this just to put you off, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> so number nine is Tim Umbers and number 15 today is Connor Robinson. And there's been some great calls by our ref um, out there today. Um, it's, it's not always an easy job, especially in fast, quick games like this, but if you do want to get involved and be a volunteer and, um, or, sorry, 
you know, being volunteer with Magpies or if you want to be a ref, just head over to the New England uh, rugby page um, and hit them up because, you know, you, ne- you can never have too many you know, referees. Hit the, uh, hit the please like me button. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Johnny Roberts moves in. And that's a Crack good this one, one this time. Yep. So moving up to 18 points to Zilch in the f- favour of the Blues. Can the Maggies come back from here? I don't know. We've said this before again, working themselves out. We've got 15 minutes remaining in the uh, the first half. The scoreline of 18-0, as we've seen before, we don't have a lot of positive structure coming out of the Magpies play at this stage. Again, possession seems to be uh, dominated by the uh, the Blues in the first part of this game, but we'll, uh, we'll need a big turnaround, certainly in this latter stage of the first half and certainly at the start of the second half to get that, the Magpies back in this game. That's right. Otherwise, we might whack a Guernsey on Ember Doyle and send it down. <laughs> There's Connor Lang going for the ball there. Wang. Mm. And that's Tim Umbers. He's got up his release, but... Yep, the penalty's there. Yeah. Again, Glenn, you've got to give credit where credit's due. Uh, Morgan Pennyfather, great chase through. It was, yes. Uh, that's, that's isolated the uh, the Magpie player. Yep. yep. In uh, Connor, Lang, Connor Lang. Yep. So they're going to kick for the sideline and try to uh, maul it over, I would imagine. 11. So our wingers of uh, our 14 and 11 have played good, games yeah, with Guernsey's too. Good clean ball there. Definitely uh, the crowd getting into this game. Oh, we've game. come through and got the ball. A very good defensive ball. They've just got to make sure they hold on to the ball. Yeah. Playing it on the ground. So uh, a good defensive um, session there for the Magpies to keep out the Blues who are hot on their tail. No, oh, he hasn't got it out. What are they doing? Yes. Oh. Yes, he had it. It's strong enough. That's very good, ref. Didn't release it. Another penalty to the Magpies. Can they get down the upper end? Now, Jack Hannaford put the ball out. <laughs> a bit worried there on the sideline they were from the Blues. Yeah. Going straight into them. <laughs> he kicked that in anger. <laughs> okay. So we've got Adam, Adam Wallace. Wallace to throw in the slide net. And Good Darcy one. grabbing that ball. Yeah. John Dun- uh, Dunlop uh, running hard as usual. It's all a bit predictable. That's better. Out to the winger. To Brandon Humphreys. Now get with him, boys. Good spread once again. Good defence. Yeah. Oh. Tim Brazier up in the... Oh, another penalty. What's that? A high tackle over there. Oh, well. At least he's very consistent. The ref, that's good. So the Magpies got a chance to put it into the corner. Again, probably first uh, opportunity uh, for a long time now, Glenn. That's for sure. We're up in the, uh, in the red zone. We've got yep. uh, just under 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Let's see uh, what we can do from here. First of all, we need to, uh, well, the Magpies need to win the line out. Backs yeah. are in place. Yeah, with Aaron O'Keefe there, he's a bit taller than. So we should get. Well, yep, yeah, good win. Uh, yes, yeah, so, but Darcy the holding. Barker. Strong one. Ball's laid back. That's been turned over, though. No, it hasn't. Harry! Okay. Oh, put him on his back. Ball's coming wide now. Opportunities now. Don't rush a bit of patience. Oh. Ball back in play. 
advantage towards Magpies at the moment. Play carries on. Again, patience now. Ellie McKenzie, is it? No, with Wallace. Out of 10 minutes, 10 metres out. Numbers there. Brock Bay is going forward. Oh, we rucked off it though. Again, I keep saying it's one of my favourite sayings. Glenn, you, you go to the ATM and you don't take any money out. You get that yeah. close to the try line, a little impatient, no ball security, yeah. and the opportunity's lost. Yep, yep. So the Blues have got out of that one when the Magpies uh, had their best opportunity to put a yep. try on. Again, 18-0. Eight, We've got uh, 10 minutes remaining. It's not out of the woodwork yet. Again, a big second half to go. This 10 minutes. Again, very vital for both teams. The, uh, the Blues could certainly put another nail in the, uh, we won't say the coffin at this stage, <laughs> but again, I think the Magpies need to, to uh, if they're going to get some points, this is the 10 minutes they need to make it to yeah. make a move. Almost come through. There's a big gap in the defensive line for the Magpies, stretching from the outside yeah. centre out to the winger. There's your gap there. We've left the winger isolated. We'll kick up. back inside. That's uh, Connor Robinson. Yeah. Oh. Again, great cover. Yeah. Good cover from the yep. uh, the Blues. Good. Try line drop out. Mm. Again, that gap in the uh, defensive line for the Magpies. Glenn's been there most of the game. The, you, uh, the you could have run through that one, Ray. It was so maybe my so speed wide straight through. <laughs> But again, that, uh, it's been consistent right throughout the game as they're numbering up from the inside. Here's your kick. And it's gone straight back yeah. on the full. Yep. I well, think it's a five yard scrum with, their, with the Blues feed. So they've put just. Silly errors like that, uh, not putting the, their kicks Spoiler. out and then putting the ones out that they shouldn't have gone out. A can, you see, uh, can you see the Magpies coach, Andrew Jack, from where you are? Just Glenn, where is he? He's just here. That's him. He's, well, he's not tearing his hair out. He's still got his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here goes. No, they've held him up. Solid run from Mick Frost. Again, will they pick and drive or spread? They're going to pick and drive. And again, this is where the Blues have actually shown more patience throughout the day. They pick and drive, oh, yes. they pick and drive. And they've got some big forwards Good too. Good defence so. there. Good defence from the uh, Magpies. Yeah, forcing them back a couple of metres. They've got numbers either side of the park. They go Take back him. inside, consolidate. Pinball. Yeah. Jack Grant again, the captain, leading the way today. The numbers out wide if they do happen to go to the open. Ball comes out. Good work, John O. Getting up there. John Roberts locked in. Again, the uh, the Blues players very quickly to get back into position. Staying in the centre of the field. Numbers to the left. Pick and drive, but uh, well covered. Passes off though. Good defence. Oh, well, finally. What? Have a penalty. High tackle High again. High tackle penalty to the uh, the Blues. And we have uh, six minutes 40 remaining in the first half. And the Armadale Blues lead the Magpies 18-0. They should go for the kick this time. Yep, yep, it'll be uh, John Roberts to uh, attempt it again. You see the, uh, the coach down here, Andrew Jack, standing on his own. His lips aren't quivering, are they? He's not that uh, no, no, he's very observant. Pretty, yeah, pretty calm at the moment. Um, he quite often takes that step. He stands up on the steps and mm -hmm. looks over. I think it's just to uh, stop any distractions. I'd like to be a fly on the wall at half time, Glenn. 
Yeah, I'd like to we, be a fly on the wall. We need the fly on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, while we're waiting for this kick to come through, it's a, it's a rather a strange uh, next couple of weeks to go. We've got um, uh, next week... Uh, We've got a bye for the uni holidays and a bye for the long weekend. That's right, and we come back on the, uh, the 25th of June. Uh, there's a bye there and the next game on the 2nd of July. Yes. The uh, Magpies will play the Barbars. And that's always a great game. Moves in. And nails it. So it's the score it. moves up to 21 to Zilch. Mitch has found some friends over there <laughs> helping me out. I see him on the phone. He's busy. We're trying to uh, track down Jeff Evans from uh, Pickles Auctions, one of our great sponsors, and have a bit of a yarn in the, uh, the half time break. Find out what's happening out there. I'll try and get a buy for you, Emma. You up for sale, Glenn? What sort of price would you bring now, mate? No, not much. Many miles up on the clock. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, he's lost it again. No, he's given it. Playing an advantage, advantage there. Yep. So we have four, just under five minutes remaining in the first half. If the Magpies defeat this scrum midfield, add oh, a bit of pushing. I'll make uh, Brody Rigby, but a bit niggly from the start of the game. I think somebody took his car park. <laughs> He's having a win to the sideline. But he should be happy. He's leading 21-0. Uh, Maybe that's what he reminded yeah. the Magpies about. <laughs> they say, you tell me this is Tim Umber's feeding the scrum. Yes, it certainly right. is. Good to see a decent haircut, Timmy. <laughs> All goes out. See what we can do. John O'Donnell's again had a very solid game. He only knows one way to go, and that's straight forward. Storm and Norman for a bit of a bustling yeah. run. Oh, that was a bit <laughs> fortuitous. But we've lost the ball. No, we haven't. We're Carry going on. backwards. All goes back. Well taken, Mark called to Mark. And he's taken it off the side of his okay, boot. Opportunity now. Yes, go on Wallace. Bumps off the first, not down. Where's our halfback? Cameron Long. The number the, nine the for... Ref, uh, the ref was right there. Yes. Uh, the number nine for uh, the... That's the Centurion. The Blues. Yep. Yeah. Brody Rigby appealing. Yeah. And he got his wish. But the wrong way. Exactly. <laughs> One of the penalty. Well, good to see the crowd up here on the grandstand uh, enjoying the brown lemonades as, uh, as well, Glenn. The hospitality yep. here at the Magpie is always uh, 100%. That's right. So we've taken the penalty and we're about uh, 12 metres out. Two with, and a half to go. With Wallace to throw in. Oh, what a terrible throw. Good defence then from Aaron O'Keefe, driving them back. Going oh. to kick. They won't get a lot of yards out of this, but... No. If we're back to where we started. What's he giving it? Their kick. Their throw. Must have been touched by a magpie in, in the air. Yeah. That's uh, Mick Frost had a solid game for oh, come the Blues, on. the big fella, the big ranger. That's good, good Carter. Mm. Get out there and support him, that's it. Need to straighten up very soon. There's your that's runner. A good. Back inside, oh, there's your yes. runner again. Good work. First bit of enterprising play we've seen from the Maggies. But where's our halfback? Mr. Connor Lang's had a good game. Gone looking for the ball. We'll take it forward again. Yep. 123 remaining. And we've got numbers. Yeah, but side ball, no. So, so have they got numbers. Oh, lost the ball and he's lost it. Oh. Yeah. Knock on it. from uh, the Blues. 
So we get one more opportunity. We've been there, done this yeah. in the earlier games. We're in the last minute. We'll play. Uh, play will continue until it breaks down. We've got the Magpies will be in possession, providing they can win the scrum. Win the scrum, but the, which they have been doing. The scrums have been uh, pretty even. We've ever, uh, got the put in as, as one. There hasn't been any great dominance one pack over the other. Old mate's having a... Uh, Another win. He must having a coaching clinic. <laughs> he said, I've scored 100. Uh, sorry, I've played 100 games, so I know what I'm doing. Good on you, Brady Reeve. Congratulations. He's having a bit of a yep. And uh, Timmy Umbers, I don't think he'd be paying a lot of attention, would he? Maybe explaining his haircut that uh, <laughs> I've got here, you haven't champion. He said, but I've got 100 games. Well, last time when they were up this close, uh, it w there was a couple of fists throwing. Numbers now, numbers. Um, so Good run. Just shows how desperate they are. Okay, again. Keep you look, it moving, that's it. Yeah, but again, you, you look to get the Magpies in possession now, in the in position for a second phase to come back our way. Very slow, and again, uh, standing it inside centre's Big Harry. Again, regrouping, sliding to the left. He's given Numbers the, are here. The penalty advantage. Big Harry. I'll go the blind where they should actually go the yeah, open. That's right. Aaron O keeps okay. out there. And we'll Pushing force him through. way over. Yes. And he's got it. And Aaron. Well done. Yeah. Though so the Maggies have finally hit the board. So 21 to 5 with a difficult kick to come from the sideline here. Right on the, the shadows of half time. Again, I think I'm a clairvoyant, mate. I said the last minute, anything could happen. I actually predicted that if you look back at the replay. <laughs> but again... Uh, this I, man is a prophet. Again, the uh, the opportunity there, they certainly could have gone on the open side. They had the numbers out there, yeah. putting faith in uh, Aaron O'Keefe. Yes. And big, strong, uh, robust run. How'd you see that, Em? Yeah, it was great. Aaron's come back really, really strong into this um, season. I think this is the second game into the season so far. He's just become a dad and... Um, Looking fit as anything and come back really well, so it's good to see him uh, rewarded for that. Okay, kick to come, and we've got uh, Jack Hannaford to take the kick. Glenn, while he's uh, getting ready for that, you'll wrap up on the first half. Well, the, the Blues have really come here to play, and they've uh, shown it with some good moves and determined running and uh, good ball skills. So they've got some big lads there, and they're doing the better of the two, uh, as the scoreboard shows. The discipline of the Magpies has been wanting a bit. <laughs> Hannaford, and he's missed it. I, uh, I'd love to see a replay of that. He's missed the kick. The halftime score, 21 to 5, but the, uh, the little shuffle as he went in to, uh, to take the kick. Uh, very different indeed. Bit of soft shoe, was it? All right, well, that's the, uh, the first half uh, done and dusted. We're going to try and catch up with uh, Jeff Evans from uh, Pickles during the break if we can. But uh, we'll take a short break. The Armadale Blues 21 lead the Tamworth Magpies. We're coming to you live from the, uh, the Magpies Nest here at the home of Tamworth Rugby Union.
Okay, welcome back. We are broadcasting live from the home of the... Glenn's just had a fall. Good on you, mate. At, uh, no, I'm not supposed to drink at halftime. You can't say that. Uh, Ray McCoy with you and um, Glenn <laughs> He's having a shocker. Mitch Hanlon's here, the uh, the boss, the guru, the uh, the president. Chairman, what do they call you, mate? AU. AU from the uh, <laughs> the Magpies uh, Rugby Union Club in here, mate. Welcome along again. I see that folks have already seen you on the uh, the big screen. You've been the school board attendant today. I just wanted to very quickly, we, we talked earlier before we came on about uh, getting volunteers involved with uh, a community sport right throughout the area. But certainly as far as the Magpies go, you've got a great team of people, but you can never have too many. How do they go about getting on board to come and give you a hand? Oh, look, a lot of the players help out. We uh, They basically set up the ground. Um, and we do hire people in, like with the caterers and the uh, bar people, because that's an expertise that a lot of us don't, don't have those certificates yep. for. But look, setting up the ground, uh, line marking, we've got 70 year olds, we've got 10 year olds, we've got um, 25 year olds, so everyone just pitches in. Everyone. Mate, very quickly, and Glenn will join me here, the uh, success of the ladies, the game today, absolutely brilliant with the big score line of, of 80, 88 to 5. But again, uh, it's drawing the crowd in, works very well for rugby. They're, they're great. The cohesion and the uh, camaraderie amongst the girls is outstanding, and the coach is, uh, the drills are working well, yeah. and they're loving it, and we love it too. All right, now you can sit on the fence or you can, uh, you're can. you not the uh, the gun now with the Magpies, but from a, uh, a rugby union point of view, how do you see this oh. game? Oh, look, this Armadale side's a cracking side and, and I'm surprised they're not higher in the table than what they are. We're not paying bad, just you make one mistake and they're through. That's yeah, a good try there from uh, the second row, in fact, uh, from the Blues after a good take from the, from the kickoff by the Magpies, but it was stripped off him. But the refs are... Uh... Now, waiting to see if it is a try or not. Now, two weeks ago when we were broadcasting here, there was talk down in the uh, the bar area in the canteen about Albies uh, being one of the teams that uh, certainly will be there. But again, a bit of talk about yeah, the Blues as well. Try. Well, Albies are the uh, are leading the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, they're outstanding. Uh, they're strong. They're fit. They're caught. They have... Uh, they're well drilled. Yeah. And more, more energy than anyone I know. Well, they've got that opportunity to train every afternoon, probably at uni, <laughs> to, to get those combinations <laughs> pretty slick. <laughs> well, we've got guys who are concrete, so they're, 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 they're work fit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, tell me this while they are lining up for the kicker. Emma's already mentioned throughout the day we've had the ladies' day, a big success. And uh, again, now looking at the, uh, the old boys' days, which uh, is a big day, or oh, that's the Friday night. We've that's right. Rugby so, and then backing it up with a black and white ball so, uh, on the Saturday. That's right. 70th anniversary of the uh, the club's uh, establishment, and uh, it's going to be big. You know, we think it will be about two, 300 people will be there. And we're going to coordinate that with Headspace Day. So we do fundraising for them. We'll auction off the Guernseys, and hopefully we can raise about $10,000 for them. So that's the black and white ball that's being held at Blazers Auditorium at the West Lease Club here. 23rd of July, if you jump on uh, to the Facebook page or that's the web page right. and uh, grab your tickets from there. Again, uh, whilst you're there, you can actually just uh, like and subscribe on our YouTube uh, channel as well. But that'll be an absolute cracker, mate. I'm going to give you the bad news. I'm actually going to get the black and whites out, and I'm coming along. <laughs> That'll be it. Unescorted. Unescorted. My little lady will be away, which is disappointing. But well, you um, give me my plus one. You got no. Well, mine's away, so um, sorry, Ange, but I'll be taking a bloke. <laughs> That'd be all right. <laughs> we'll see how we go from there. Well, back uh, to the footy. The, oh. <laughs> the conversion was missed, <laughs> so it's uh, twenty-six to five, and uh, the Magpies are kicked off, but the Blues have got the ball or back in their side of the halfway. Oh, look, putting it back for the clearing kick. What did Mitchell was saying? Oh, that injured Alvey's player, um, Armadale player from the uh, reserve grade. So he was just sent off for a uh, precautionary uh, examination. It may not even come to an x-ray, but better safe than sorry. Good. All the limbs are moving, everything's fine. Mm. Mate, congratulations to the uh, or everyone that went out to attend, Glenn. But yes, uh, again, yeah. uh, safety first. Mm. And away he goes from there. Righto, mate. You going back to school? What are you going to stick here with us? No, I'm going to stick here with you, mate. Righto, mate. You're in. Okay. <laughs> on, yeah. Well, so, Emma, Emma Bailey's had to leave, and uh, she's got some other duties to do for us as well. So, I uh, oh, say so you actually you've, oh. you've quit. You've walked. You're gone. He's gone. Okay, mate. Come back if you want to. Okay. <laughs> What's happened? A penalty's gone to the Blues <laughs> there for or a scrum rather, and uh, <laughs> their feed. Hello, folks. <laughs> if we had a camera here, we could turn it around, and. Uh, 
the guru has put everything on the floor he possibly can. He's had a shocker. He's so so keen to get away from us. <laughs> I'll guarantee you Mr. Dunley in the kitchen. Thanks, mate. He's had a shocker. Oh, dear. Not too sure where his care okay, is. Okay, Brodie Rigby to feed the scrum for the Blues. So the try scored by the Maggies just before half-time has been negated by the, the score. Uh, the old inside run. And he's offloaded, but uh, Jono Dunlop's onto him. Oh, he's lost it. He's, that's good. So the, oh, that was a silly pass. Yeah, you spun the advantage of the knock-on. So the Magpie showed a bit of enterprise there to throwing the ball out there to the left, but uh, they've lost the ball and they've got the feed to the scrum though. Any changes can we notice? I don't think so. It looks like the same, the 15 for the Magpies at least. And there's no high numbers on the blue side that we can spot any either. Oh, he pulled it up. Thirty four minutes remaining in the second half. The score line reached twenty six to five with the uh, the blues in front. Yeah, a little bit cooler here on the uh, on the ground. No doubt it's nice and warm with you sitting at home watching in the TV. That's right. Good for you. John O'Donnell comes back through. Connor Robinson being lifted up, but he's uh, got it to ground. Ooh, hang on to it, Storman. Yep. It was a, uh, a side tack tackle. The, the, the shoulder got him just in the uh, in the head, but again. Yep. Penalty to the uh, the Magpies. Now, Jack, make sure you find the line. Jack Hannaford takes the kick. That time he does. That's a good kick. Okay, again, we keep talking. 33 and a half minutes remaining. We're in the second half. This is the opportunity for the Magpies. A little bit of patience. Move forward. Get over that. Uh, get over the try line. Okay. Adam Wallace to throw in. Oh, yes, good take. Coming round from... Holly McKenzie. Good variation there. But oh, Harry through the middle. Can he get it going? No, the stymied him. Oh, a... Okay, John O'Donnell. Very consistent. Only knows one way, and that's yeah, forward. That's, he certainly straightens the attack. Comes out wide again. Adam Wallace going forward. Yeah. Where's the halfback? Where's the half? There he is. Aaron O'Keefe calls the ball. Yeah, but Harry's standing still when he takes it. He needs to be running onto it. Oh, someone's down, is he? No, he's getting up. Again, this is patience again, Glenn. Yeah. No pick and drive. They're going to spread the ball wide. Oh. Again, this is the slow part here. The Magpies play is very slow to, uh, to get back into position to give the option of another phase. They're falling back there now. We certainly have numbers in the open side now. Should the ball get this way? I'll take one forward. Yep. And once again, numbers. A lot of low numbers in the back line, but uh, goes a kick. There's no one going through. That's only given the ball away, but he's chased it up good, Mr. Hannaford. Well, if there is a kick, they should get the ball in uh, in good field position now. If they can stop them there, they need to. Ball goes wide. Nearly rakes. Oh, good tackle. Good, good, good. And it's a penalty to uh, a Tamworth Maggie. No, knock on. It's only a scrum. Knock on. It's a scrum. Ah. Well, 
All right, a good chance here from the uh, Maggies to put some pressure on and some points on the board. Let this be the start of the comeback. Mitch, what was the case with the girl and, and who was taken off? Uh, just a crook knee. Oh, just a yeah. crook knee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right, mate, you're not the the, uh, the boss anymore. You're part of the commentary team, so please feel free to add your little bits as you go. Oh, it might be a bit biased. You're allowed to be that, mate. <laughs> Look, one thing I know about this blue side is how well they defend. Yeah, they're pretty well drilled, as you say, in all assets. All knocked on by them. Come on, get with him. That's better. We talk a lot about patience, Mitch. It's from, uh, from a rugby point of view, not from the uh, position you hold. Do you find that the, the magpies tend to uh, oh. to lose that patience very quickly? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they don't seem to take the nope. time to get possession, Offside. consolidate, hold the ball and work up to something. Yep, that's exactly right. And we do need to, you know, it's sometimes it's a graft. So we got lucky there. Yeah. Well, that's Harry. Get with him. He's isolated. Get down the blind numbers. There we go. He's over the line. Adam Wallace. But they've held him up. And he'll be caught up. Uh, yep. Just one of the things that stood out for me today, again, the second time watching the ladies game, at Glen as well, they have that patience. They have the structure across the field, players yep. left and right, so yep. it doesn't matter how many phases you want to go through. That needs up means old heads and old heads that people will listen to. So the uh, you, know, you need a couple of leaders in it, in your team, and then they respect to to hear what they've got to say. But you've got them here. We do. You've we got just to, need you've, ears. I, 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 again, I, you know, you, you look at the team without being I'm not being critical, but you look at the players. You've got the strength out there to do exactly that. But it just seems to be if the pump comes pretty early. There, the impatience just goes out the window, and it's a matter of let's try and get those points back straight away. And like I said to the girls um, after the game, that they're actually setting the standard for the rest of the club. Yeah. And we oh, do. It didn't happen last week. They tell me. <laughs> Big score no, on last no, week, no. but uh, a very good game. Oh, look, that that Alvey side and the women's. Here Yay! we go, Harry through. Harry through, runs around the post. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Good construction. Harry uh, was uh, one of my employees, and uh, he certainly got some uh, advice on Monday morning at, uh, at, yeah. at, the, at the toolbox store. Yeah. I think one of the things there, too, Glenn, and again, right throughout this game, it's the first time one of our players actually, as I say, one of our players, the Magpie players, took the ball at pace. Mm. Yes, you know, exactly we're, right. We're waiting yeah. to get the ball, then we'll start our run, yeah. and the big fellas have done that work. That's worked exceptionally well. Yeah. They had it constructed, though. Yeah. They knew what they were doing, what, what to do. Mm. Uh, we've got a couple of weeks break after this, and uh, we come back on the twenty fifth, on the twenty, on the second of July. That's right. Against so the uh, the Bar Bars. Does that uh, uh, competition itself? So we've got now three more home games. Three more home games. So we've just passed the halfway point in the season. So we have seven home games this yep. season. So we've had a good run of uh, in a row. So yeah. now we're on a bit of a road trip. Yeah. So uh, the point of that, and I think Glenn's very keen as well. But you're actually heading up the mountains when it's snowing. Not me. <laughs> no. <You> got it. <laughs> 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 Good, uh, just uh, scraped over there the kick from uh, Jack Hannaford. So uh, the score uh, now 26 to 12. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so next next uh, next weekend I think we're away and uh, it's supposed to snow in um, Armadale on Friday. No, it's a gap. There's a gap week next couple of weeks. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. The long weekend. Yeah, mate, you're gone. Country championships. Then we go to Glen Innes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Glen Innes and, uh, on the 25th of June. That's uh, the round eight game. Yep. Get nice and warm up there. It's, uh, there's 15, 16, uh, 15 rounds in the competition. Mm -hmm. as, uh, as we're watching play now, 26 minutes remaining. You're seeing a lot of the... We've been through the COVID scenario, uh, Mitch. And by the way, folks, we're talking to Mitch Hanlon, who's... What is your title? 
president. You're the president. Okay, well, I'll just call you the gaffer. Uh, Mitch <laughs> is the uh, the president of the uh, the Tamworth Magpies. But you're seeing um, much change between the uh, the competition now since we've recovered from COVID, Mitch. Yeah, look, there is still a bit of COVID floating around with uh, players and some officials. So one of our community members, Crook, but generally, oh, I think oh, you can. Oh, oh, he's over. No, he's short, but that no, was opportune. Not. Good follow through. He should be numbers uh, out uh, wide. Defence now. He might be held up. No, try no, give him a try. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, so uh, look, we had, we had to uh, suspend, uh, def defer our reserve grade game because of COVID, and uh, which we, we have to make up game. But that seems to be all over and done with, and uh, we expect to go all the way through to the grand final with yeah. a clear sail. So will that deferred game be played? Would there any thoughts? Yes, on, it will be played. We've just played. got to work out a date that's uh, uh, convenient for both the Albies College uh, reserve grade side and our side. It may be a midweek mid game. Mm. Mate, as they club the uh, transition from Central North to the New England, work well for the Magpies? Uh, it has. This is our fifth year uh, out of the, uh, the, the that Central North zone. zone. So... Uh, so, so far, it's been worked out well. We've got uh, continuous football. And unfortunately, some of those Central North clubs do struggle with teams. Um, and so we, we, we sort of, uh, you know, reserve grade would miss out in games. Um, so we, we decided to move to it's about the playing. New England. It's yeah. about playing. It's about getting, getting, yeah. getting um, you know, yeah. guys playing footy. Um, mm. I'll be political just for two seconds. Uh, the pathways for the juniors coming through. Well, that moved from a Saturday uh, game to a Friday night game. Uh, and look, a lot of people don't want to travel to places like Scone and Kerr on Friday night after mm -hmm. work. So to me, that is a work in progress. They still, like, you look at the, the, the numbers, they're good numbers, there are a thousand kids playing, but it has dropped off in Tamworth because of that uh, that regional focus rather than the yeah. Tamworth focus. Yeah. And the last one for me is uh, a game with any sport. Uh, what about the support for the, uh, from the uh, Department of Education, from the schools? In supporting oh, look, rugby, uh, <laughs> comes down to motivated school teachers who won't yeah. be involved. That's purely what it is about. Yeah. So the, the teachers, and I got a bit of an insight in the education system, and it, it's, the teachers are full on. Unless they want to do it, they uh, they will defer to a rugby club. Right, mate, Glenn, you've had a bit of a rest now. Back to the rugby. Yeah, with uh, you missed the conversion, by the way. So oh, it's uh, thirty-one to twelve, and the a good kick off and chase, and they've just. Now he's on the no, ball. He's got no, he, yep. Has he picked yep. it up? He's got it. He's yep. got it. Good thing he's he's his head's out. No, the ball's not, though. <laughs> Ollie. <laughs> McKenzie is... Did you see? Harry's head was about a foot outside the line. His neck was still inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a oh. beautiful melon. Oh, another penalty. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we were attacking there, too. Yeah. yeah. 31-12, we've got 23 minutes remaining in the second half. Coming in from the side, is that uh, the signal? Uh, well, Harry's still hugging the sideline here, so he's ready for the line out. <laughs> oh, it's a good oh, click. It's a good, good, kick. good range finder. Duff McMillan from the president of the Blues Club could have caught that. <laughs> They're a good club. They're good guys. Most of them are on the zone executive with a few of us. Okay, the Blues to throw it in and a good clean take off the top. Moving up their back line. Oh. Big number four, the second row going well. Little Linser using the ref as a shepherd. Oh. Here we go, another break. The ball yeah, goes good. back inside of the five. And he's over. Yeah. Corel Lube, he is through. Uh, we're on a. Uh, well, this is starting to like run away for uh, the Tamworth Club. Yeah. 36 points to 12. Blues lead Tamworth. They had the penalty advantage there too, so yeah. they're not too sure why. But, yeah, um, Darcy's... And he's kicked the goal. Knocked it over. Yep. So 38 to 12. Tell me this, Mitch. You're up to uh, speed on the stats at the moment. We're... Uh, Halfway through at the moment, the final series approaching end of the end of the year. How does the club stand as far as uh, the grades going through and opportunities? 
uh, look, we need to start winning more games to <laughs> to, to get in the finals. To, you know, have a, have any hope to uh, you know either host a final or uh, participate. Yeah. It could be better, right? Yeah. When's the last time a final series was hosted down here or a game in the final oh, series? Oh, look, before, uh, look uh, the year before last. Right, okay. Before c- COVID killed it. Oh, good tackle. That... And the grand final that's was... Just... That's a nice kick. Nice inside kick. And it's covered by... I'll tell you what, that is... Well, Connor Lang. The... Well, and Here's Connor's around. recovered. That was one of the uh, the best cover tackles I've seen from uh, Darcy Barker <laughs> in about two and a half. That was a cracker. Yeah, no, he's doing it. well. He's doing well. I might have hurt tomorrow. So we had the grand final here the year before last down at the West. Uh, West were gracious to host us. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was it was a COVID-restricted uh, grand final. 3,000 people. Walker, Walker was there with Coffs Harbour. And we won second and uh, third grade that year. Oh. So that's 2020. All right, time for another one, mate. All right, Glenn, what's happening in the action? Well, the Blues are on the attack again, unfortunately, for the Magpies. But uh... It hasn't been a lack of enthusiasm from the Magpies no. players today. Certainly, possession's been very, very Good strong tackle, with the Good uh, tackle, but he's got it away. Couple of, uh, I think we've got out. You know, and so, okay, that was a good tackle, but the ball got away and the support was there. Hmm. They go again. They'll spread it wide. They don't no, have none. No, this no, is no. He's chipped nine. Grab a grab a kick, and oh. he's almost knocked recovered. On. Yeah. Yeah. Off his shoulder. On. So Armadale chance in their hand here. Yeah. No third grade game today. They'll back up again uh, next week. Yep. Yep. So uh, we actually don't have a third grade side, but what uh, Albies have got a third and a fourth grade side, yep. so they come down and play in Which that good. slot. Yep. So, again, it's about getting kids playing footy. Now, away from rugby for two seconds, within your working life, uh, we think it's cool here. You're heading to that beautiful place called Blaney. Yes, chill Blaney. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cold down there, isn't it? That's why they put a wind farm there. Oh, yeah, it's cold yeah. and windy. <laughs> they grow ice, don't they? They grow ice. <laughs> and a lot of yeah. thick wool. It's amazing. But, uh, yeah. I'll send you photos. <laughs> well, I put three sheep around my head. <laughs> okay, the Maggie's feet to scrum. Can they get a good clearing kick in? Up in the air, they decide to run it. The game we go back to, if you're watching the uh, the game now, that uh, we wanted you to like and subscribe uh, on the... If you're here at the ground watching, <laughs> he knocked the ref over <laughs> and his eagerness to take oh, the tap kick. <laughs> uh, in the uh, the bottom of your screen, like and subscribe. Jump onto our uh, web page, onto the uh, the YouTube you're watching now on the program if you're here at the ground. But uh, again, like and subscribe. And the guess what? The big one too is spread the word. Spread the word. A uh, good clearing kick yeah. there from uh, uh, Jack Hannaford. So this is the time you're sucking the air. Get to the line out and then plan for the next assault. 18 minutes to go in this uh, first grade encounter between the Magpies and the Armadale Blues. Um, the Magpies throw in, doesn't yeah. look real straight. See, see that's a rubbish the wrong way, but yeah, that could be better. Yeah, you know, that, that was There's our no ball control. To, no win to con- contend so, with. So we've just surrendered the uh, opportunity to attack and now we're defending. Yeah. Oh, is a bit yeah. groggy. Blues have got their players in in position already for that phase to go back. Yeah. yeah. Connor's in bad way. He's done his... Oh, yeah. not releasing. And a bit of back chat. There's some old hands there at the Armadale Club. Uh, it's an ankle or a knee. Uh, but yeah. yeah, he was our 15 down. Yeah. Full backs down. He'll be coming off. Connor Robertson. They're going to go for goal. Yeah. Again, you can't come off with a uh, penalty, can you? Or you can? Oh, yeah, you can come off any time. Well, actually, he's not replaced no mate. No, he's... Uh, <laughs> grabbing somebody else. Yeah, 16's coming on. Yeah. Okay, score is 38-12. We have 16 and a half minutes remaining. Blues leading the Magpies. 
And here's the other Centurion going to take this kick, Brody. And, so and he's got it. it. So. Mitch, the, uh, those two boys, in, in fact, in John Robertson, Brody Rigby, the, uh, the 9 and the 15, celebrating 100 uh, games, first grade games. What about within the Magpie ranks? Oh, we've got a few uh, must be coming up, uh, like Aaron and uh, Jake, uh, oh, Jacob Shorten Reserve Grade mm -hmm. and that. We've got a f quite a few guys that have been around for a while. I, I just couldn't give you the numbers, but uh, Jack Barker, v one, he's been playing with us since he was 17. Now he's 30, so they're, uh, they're certainly getting up there. Someone's down. Yeah. Storm and Norman, is it? Yeah, a little uh, smart kick. Yeah. Uh, yes, you know, Norm works with me as well. So we also, and our, uh, our first grade scrum coach is uh, at our office. So I, I can guarantee there's at least half an hour of rugby banter at, uh, each day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. down the. And uh, they're all forwards, so they don't like team backstrop ball. Oh, isn't that dirty? <laughs> you come out of a scrum and the ball's on the ground. What the? Useless backs. Yeah. Well, that, that good sport from the Blues when patting him on the back either. <laughs> I, uh, I have heard it uh, suggested, fellas, that uh, every fourth or fifth scrum that the uh, the backs should go in and and form the scrum. And they'll learn what it's all about. Uh, Norm's coming off. We'll yeah. hear about this for the next week. He won't be injuries. at work on Monday, mate. <laughs> no, I just strap him to the chair and just drive that mouse. Oh. So uh, Norm's a uh, cadet engineer. He's a qualified electrician and decided to do a career change. Goes all right? Goes all right. Is a dev hand a railway design? You must be a magician then. <laughs> this is a good move. Yes, Paul. Uh, Jack Barker's on. Yep. He'll, he'll make his father, Paul, happy. Now, no doubt you you watched the second grade game. Yes, Jack I did. Jack scored a try down here in the, uh, in the corner. Seagarling, Seagarling. <laughs> Theoretically, in, in essence, it was, uh, Glenn, it was probably, what, about a seven-metre run. <laughs> By 10 o'clock tonight, it will be 70 metres. Um, and he probably fended off, what, about 12 yeah. players before he got there. So good on you, Jack. Okay, the Blues on an attack. Boost it down. Oh, oh, oh it there he goes. Around. Goes. Link up, link up, link up. Oh, you need your numbers now. There we yeah, go. Beautiful you, play. That's there we go. That's where I see. Yep. Who's the 26? That's an Orcher. Timmy, yep. Timmy Orcher. Played in the year. Michael, Michael Orcher. Orcher. Michael. Michael. He's a, one of our reserve grade. He played he's a cracker game he in did. reserve grade. Now, yeah. he's over at Tamworth High School. He's a Wee War boy. Unreal. And uh, he's he's only been with the club for a few years, and we love him. Well, he had a cracker game, Glenn, in reserve grade today. Yes, he sure did. He was did, the yeah. one to start, straighten it up, but that was. Yeah. 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 Uh, but even then, if people are watching on the on the TV, no doubt you are, to actually draw those two players in That's and right. then actually get his hands free That's yeah. right. to free up his winger, that was yeah. uh, that was That's what forwards rugby. like to see. Yeah. Backs actually doing their job. I tell you what, he's a big boy too. <laughs> I hate to feed yeah, him. Fairly slow. Connor, Connor Lang's off. Yeah. Who's on for Connor? Jeez. Uh, so the uh, score is now 41 to 12. That's right. No. When in doubt, go to the rugby app. That, that was the wrong team you put Over here, mate. Down here. There oh, hang go. on. Go again. And miss the goal. Away. Miss the goal. Is that it? 41 12. No, 41-17. 17. 17. 17. Mm. This is hard to get good help. Yeah. Bloody hell. That's it. <laughs> Did it five times. I've ran our fingers, Ray. <laughs> mine, mine aren't working. I think they're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still think a try is four points. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Call for it. Oh, oh well, well done. Taken. Well done. 41-17. Yeah. We finally got it right. Can't count my Timmy fingers. Umber's there with the... Clean out. There's Harry. Harry. Harry with the great haircut. Harry doesn't work for you. He was. Yeah. Yep. Got rid of me. He, <laughs> oh, a bit of a speculator. Oh, he got no, it. has gone forward. It's gone forward. Harry got a better job where I wasn't shouting at him. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't feed him. Oh, Listen, speaking of that. 
Hey? No club exists without great sponsors. You guys go very well here. Oh, we do. West, they're our um, premium sponsor. Pickles, they're great sponsor as well. Have been for a long, long time. They're, um, but I tried to get hold of Jeff Evans today to have a bit of a yarn, but uh, either he's heard about my interviewing style or he's been very busy. But, Jeff, we're going to catch a champion. We will have a yarn, trust me. And be no. grilled. <laughs> no, uh, they've been a key sponsor for many years at the club. Back in the day, we hardly had any. They were, they were yeah. always there. Isn't that a good saying, back mm. in the day? Yeah. <laughs> Brody Rigby to feed the scrum for the Blues. But a little bit of a push, but they've taken it off the back. There we go. He's, he's linked it up and, there. Oh, oh well he's taken. picked it up. Slip back inside. And come he on, must be close. Get back there. Magpies. Is, yeah, uh, easy he's as. Over. He's over. Easy as. Yeah. And that's, that's the, you know, we get a good try, then we let an easy one in. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's got train going through. You're watching the. T- They're celebrating right. as well. What they saw the try. Hey. Okay, Glenn and I are just going to have a look at the train. Ray, you take over. <laughs> <laughs> it's the autism, mate. I'll Sorry. Tell you what we, were, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about uh, sponsors. Not only is it good to sponsor, but also when they come along to the uh, the game. If Tim Stebbings from Woodley was a politician, he'd go to the opening of an envelope, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you for a spin in the, in the uh, VW that he's got out the back. Ooh, that's all right. <laughs> smell. You know that new car smell? Mm. Yeah, well that's, I, my car doesn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> so good on you, Timmy. He said it was too cold here. He was going home to watch it on the TV. So oh. good on you, champion. Uh, I wonder, wonder if I could put survey stakes in a Passat. <laughs> you could do that, mate. Probably once. <laughs> Um, but again, in all seriousness, uh, it, it takes a lot of good supporters to uh, to keep a club going, get them on the it ground does, year does. after year after year. Yeah. And realistic, we talked about this before, Glenn. You're rebuilding a club every single year yeah, because indeed, a lot of those indeed. sponsors is year by year yeah. by year. We get things by COVID, we get difference uh, in uh, in businesses uh, ha- happening. So it's a year by year situation. Missed the goal. That's a good attempt, though. Right, we've got uh, just under nine minutes. Nine minutes so remaining. Forty-six to seventeen. Look, I don't usually shout out about the opposition. You don't players, usually but, shout, but this young bloke here, Peter Peter Cummings here, the bloke with the beard, just number two for uh, for yep. Blues. He's, yep. he's one of those uh, stalwarts of the Blues club. Uh huh. And uh, if I had to go recruit for a uh, from the opposition, I'd be getting him. Also, I reckon uh, their president Luke would be a great president for our club. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? You're farming out. <laughs> You're moving to Blaney. Blaney Bears, isn't that? Uh, isn't oh, that Blaney mate. Bears? Yeah, that's it. The Blaney, Blaney Ice Box. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, here we I'm go. not sure what the rugby club is. I did meet a Welshman in Blaney once. He talked about how he moved to Canada, but he had to leave when he realised petrol freezes in the fuel tank. <laughs> yeah, so he true. thought he thought Blaney was a warmer place. Um, I actually, glad you travel. My young brother went to uh, Greg went to Canada, and I said, "This is years ago." I said, "How'd you handle it, mate?" He said, "Well, the first six weeks I was drunk." He said, "Because the only way to, to stay warm." Was to finish work, go to a wine bar, or get drunk and go home. He's changed, Greg. You're, you're a champion, mate. But yeah, that was his. That was his initiative to Canada. Apparently, bears are an issue too. Oh. Yeah. Do you know the worst extreme now? We're, we're sitting here. It's, it's not that cold, Glenn, is no, it? No, no, no. Well, um, my little lady's over there at uh, Grand Canyon right. yesterday, and it's uh, extremely hot. Right. So why are they celebrating over there? We're sitting here freezing. Where would you <laughs> rather be? <laughs> Hello, oh, here with you, Ray. Anyway, quite, quite a good, <laughs> here with me. <laughs> quite a good kick there has put the oh, pressure. Wait, wait. Rugby, rugby. Pressure on the uh, Blues. You know, you know, you need to bloody... Let's get into it, otherwise I'll stop paying you. <laughs> you know what? Half, oh, half your things. So half nothing is still nothing. Correct, mate. <laughs> we do that for a living. So here we go. This is it. Now, Can we need to attack you. reply. Oh, they've got a bit of a move on the line oh, no, There, we've got to win this. <laughs> and it's not clean. Oh. Timmy Armbus has recovered. He had the mic off, John. Bit of a jinking run, but need to be a bit more forward. Yep. On, on, on. They need to run onto the ball here. Here we go. Again, this year, different uh, nine and ten. So the, yeah, the teams had to regroup around. Right. See, so let's. If that bounce works. Yes, he got it. Yes. Well done. Well got done. It. Nice chip. Yep. So Connor's fixed his leg up. Um, Yeah. Oh, oh, Jono, was it? No, no, it was this guy with the ball. Connor Robinson. Yeah. Connor scored. Again, good kick. Only two players there to actually support that's running right. through. That's but right. uh, So, well, we've got six, just over six minutes to go. It, uh, look, 
the chances of us winning aren't high, but if they can get two more tries, that would be... Uh, it would. It would if, help. If you were back at school, last try wins. <laughs> <laughs> back him in, 20 cents. All right. Uh, John Hannaford. Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack. Jack Hannaford. Gives the old arm wave. And, and it's over. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, I like no, the I shuffle. It, I wished it. I wished it. The first step <laughs> in, the, uh, in the shuffle. Good oh, on you, Jack. Good. Score remains 46-22. Armadale Blues leading the Tamworth Magpies. We've got six minutes remaining. We've got Glen A. Rose. I actually called him Glen Baker, Glen A. Baker earlier. Oh, I did He's that once. He's a guru. He's a guru. Yeah. <laughs> Ray McCoy and uh, Mitch Henlon, who is the uh, the gunner. The music the from the 70s only. Yeah. <laughs> Armadale Simon Hood's voice oh, in here. Yeah, oh. so. Oh. They pulled He's, a penalty. Uh, What's that for? I think he made contact high, just prior to the, uh, yeah. the ball. He took him out. What do you know, he's hurt him too. Been doing it all day. Well, give me my card. <laughs> no, well, he's in spray, isn't he? The ref. Okay, one of the. I uh, know oh here we've got the uh, the centurion down here in uh, in number nine, which is Brody Rigby. He's had a very talkative game, Glenn. Oh yeah, well, he, the halfback. It's in their breeding, isn't it? Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, well, out. it is. That's that's one of the requirements, isn't it? I did, did I did hear his nickname was Yappy, but I'm not too sure. But he's still having a yarn now. Five minutes remaining. Brock doing a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Damien, our reserve, great catch over there. He's giving some coaching to the referee. Actually, the referee's had a crack of game. He's gone well. Yep. He'd be uh, he'd be getting a centurion. Time back on. Yeah, here we go. Letter two, wouldn't he? Oh, yes, that's, that's, okay. that's true. That's true. Oh, that's <laughs> You're right there, Glenn. <laughs> We're falling apart. Let's settle, settle down, Glenn. <laughs> Five minutes remaining. 46 22. Armadale Blues lead the Tamworth right. Magpies. It's getting a little bit chilly here. Just uh, the golden rule you either get the electric blanket or find someone to cuddle. <laughs> yeah, just you and me then. <laughs> You're starting to scare me. <laughs> right, now, I, need a, I need a nice, clean line out win here and a, and a quick ball to the back line. And the back's not to drop it. See if I'll pick it. Magpies throw. Up they go. Uh, tell you what. Nah. And Pete Cummins come oh, through just, like yeah. the old trevor he is. He's very smart because oh, yeah. he came from the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew how to read that. Oh, big drive there. Darcy Barker again. Uh, Michael Orchard there. Yeah. T testing again. So, well, they've let him away. Yeah, no, they've got yeah. him, but good hard running from the Blues backs. Hey, the uh, potential shown by Michael Orchard. Got to be a first grader down the track. Maybe even a rep player. Some of the skills he's showing. Well, yeah, yeah mature ahead too, and he's got the legs. Here we go. Yeah, see. So Open side numbers. Nice, nice, oh, uh, good there we go. Go on, Harry. It's still in play. Balls still in, in play. So Harry's bringing him down. Yeah, yeah good. That came from a solid defensive tackle from Will Clinch, the number 13. And again, they have it going Aaron, down here. Aaron, Aaron O'Keefe got him he there. Got him, but ripped well the ball. Done. That's good. Spadge O'Keefe there. Brought the baby today. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Magpies have got the numbers out wide now, Glenn. Yeah, but will they Can use them? The ball? They're no, going we'll the go blind. Aaron again. Oh, no, little, no show. Oh, oh, what? No, that. <laughs> And he knows it too. He knows he's disappointed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Handbags at 30 paces. Mm, no. Three minutes remaining. No, it's not worth it. We just need to play football. Yep. That, very borderline that. If I don't, we were right on line. Yeah, well, I, I just, Mate, if I was you, I'd stand up and give it to him. <laughs> So uh, the reserve grade Armadale Blues props coming on, number 16. Oh, yeah. Sam, uh, not Sam, that's our 16. Yeah. Luke Bunn. 
Good thing you got your glasses on. No, he played prop, didn't he? So it's either Michael Ogilvy or... Uh, uh, no, coming on Andrew for 16, Stock. yeah. Yeah, or, or Andrew uh, Chalker, one of those. So. Yeah, it was Chalker. Chalker, you can't see. Right. Yep. Played in oh, reserve grade. Right. Andrew yep. Chalker, yep. yep. Stay with me, Mitch. You'll, uh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong team. All good, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! oh nice tackle. Got the yeah, number ball away, away though. though. What's that saying? You can't fly the albatrosses if you're down here with the turkeys. <laughs> oh, well solid done there. One fifty-four remaining. Forty-six twenty-two. Abadar Blues lead the Tamworth Magpies. Yep, his head went out. Okay. Mm. There's a little bit of um. Uh, Jack, Jack's, Jack Barker's decided to say a few words and man up. From yeah, still having a yarn. Connor Robinson not happy either. Well, it's good to see they've got a bit of fire with one minute to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can read this one. Magpie's throw. Uh, Again, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, i tell you what, it's a, it's a, it's a good line out uh, from the... Uh, Crossing Good over. Oh, crossing over. Oh, really? Yep. Coming in for a okay. scrum. Mm. Our last scrum of the afternoon, perhaps. Under 60 seconds remaining. Well, Mitch, wrap up for the day. Yeah, well, look, you know, we uh, won the women's and yep. the reserve grade. Yep. <laughs> Two out of three, ain't bad. As Meatloaf once said. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Club's going well. We look yep. forward to it. Now, the next yep. home game is when? Uh... Gee, right long, long, way away. long way away. Yeah, away. Long way. <laughs> Two weeks? Three no. weeks. Three, three, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks. Four weeks. I will tell you. We'll come back to you. Seriously, right. mate, you only had one job, and that was to work out. Oh, is that the one? Okay. <laughs> um, Glenn, as we get into the uh, the last 30 seconds, you'll wrap, on, wrap up on the game. Oh, the Blues have been too good, that's for sure. They're scoring 46 points is uh, an indication of that, so... Their, their combinations, their determination, the hard running, uh, good size about them. And uh, they're just, just too good right around the park. Their, their line ass was good. They've won the, their scrum put ins. And uh, I think they've won the verbal battle too. Well, time is up on the, uh, the clock. No doubt we'll come to the uh, end of the play very quickly. Should it go. Uh, I guess either yeah. way, but oh, it's a penalty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. quick tap here, I'd suggest. Lifting, lifting in the. Yeah. Again, Glenn, row. once again, good to see you back, champion. I know you had a bit of a break, but uh, we look forward to the next game as well. Yep. A big oh, shout yeah. out to uh, to Folmac TV and all our wonderful sponsors that make this happen. And uh, again, certainly spreading the word of, uh, of rugby right yeah. around not only the uh, the New England Northwest area, but certainly your Australia and overseas as well, Mitch. Oh well, look, we've got a bunch of people in New York who watch this. Um, yeah, obviously, we're the. the the cool thing in New York, so why At not? The moment, yes, yep. we're there. <laughs> hot, hot. Well, no okay. one's ever called me hot, you know. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> this final line out, it gives the Maggies a chance to get more points on the board. Mr. Wallace coming up to throw in. He's been outstanding. Like he's, he's uh, been good. Yeah. He's, oh, 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 geez, that was. Gordon, I'll hoof it. There we go. That's, That's the end it. of that game. Yeah. All right. The final score here from uh, the home of the. The Tamworth Magpies, the Armadale Blues, have run out winners 46 to 22 in first grade. The earlier games in the uh, the ladies' league tag, the uh, Magpies won 88 to five, and in the uh, the reserve grade encounter, a strong win again to the Magpies, 22 points uh, to 10. A strong yes. win indeed. Glen yeah. Rose, final Excellent. words. Yeah, great, great afternoons in entertainment and uh, to all involved from right through the three games. It's been very pleasant. And uh, played in good spirit generally. Some lovely tries and, uh, yeah, good entertainment. All right, mate. Uh, from me, again, nice to be back. A big shout out to Emma Bailey and to Scotty McLaren. Joined our uh, commentary team earlier in the day. Mitch Hanlon for you and uh, all the crew here at the Ten with Magpies. Thanks, sir. Wonderful to be, uh, to be on board, to Folmac TV and everyone involved in the production. We look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to jump onto the, uh, the webpage for the Ten with Magpies. Like and subscribe and follow the magnificent Magpies. Indeed. Thanks, Ray. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Thanks, Raymond. Glenn. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you.